Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Blog TV. Uh, season 4 playoffs, first time we'll be covering that. Uh, we got Intermediate this time around, we have the number one seed, Bingo Night Esports LLC, still one of the great team names in all of the league, versus the number eight seed, Amos Nate Wales 59 I'm just going to be calling them Amos, most likely. Uh, I am of course Terry, I'm joined by Krajian, how are you doing today bud? I'm doing fantastic, ready to see this absolute cough death match that we have going on tonight. Yeah, so our map lineup is clear cut number one, Viaduct number two, and then it's not King of the Hill for number three, but who knows if we'll even get there. But just to quickly run down the rosters, on Bingo's side of the board, you have Cube and Taco Cat on Scouts, Puka and Tulkus on Soldier, uh, Tulkus, oh, he's actually alias as Tulkus this time. Last time we casted him, he was alias as Haas, but that is no longer the case. Uh, Denisovich on Demo, and then Craig on Medic, and then on the opposite side, Disney Hater? Wait a minute. He's in here, yeah. actually, so I don't know... Did they say... They did say Scout. They said but, uh... Scout, but DT and Disney Hater are the Scouts, so maybe Disney Hater is the one that has some problems. In any case, it'll be DT for sure, and then Disney Hater, we will find question out, mark. Sure. Um, and then their soldiers are going to be Dot Wet and Whale Mart, uh, followed by Challenger on Demoman, and then BBL on Medic. I will try to refrain from calling him Bibble, but uh, that's, that's my inclination. So, all right, let me do the switch. Well, he's any. named after my favorite map, Kabibble. <laughs> Make sure everything is looking fine. Yes, sir. We're looking good. Performance mode away. Alright, so, um, I guess there will be some sort of delay, assuming Disney Hater is, uh, incapacitated, but he is just moving around right now. Maybe he meant to say somebody else? No, uh, we are, we do have BBL in the spectator, so... Oh, there goes nope, Disney there Hater. Go. All right, so hope it, hope it's just uh, I don't know. Hope it's not something serious as far as that player is concerned. But it looks like they'll be getting a ringer, which means we get to do the oh so fun legal talk of uh, when one team gets to or tries to ring a player and the other team says no, f you, get somebody else, and we'll do that song and dance for a really long time. But unfortunately, well, or fortunately, I guess in this case, Terry, that does not apply to the lower divisions. Oh, it doesn't? They can just ring whoever? They can have a default ringer. Yo, I'm about to play scout for these guys. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> no, that's sabotage, dude. Upon, that's a sabotage. Upon. That's Terry. Don't be him too bad. May God bring uh, destruction and despair upon all those who oppose Bingo Night. Says scumbag with guap. I can't even, I don't even know how I'm supposed to pronounce that last word, so I'm not going to try. <laughs> Oh, they got a sub. Yo, let's go. Freddy Freaker has joined the game. All right. The overlay will be nice. wrong, but that's not my fault because they switched their player out pretty much last minute. Well, you'll get to uh, update it for the YouTubes if need be. I'm, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> You're fucking out of your oh, mind if nail. you think I'm going to try that. <laughs> um, so we've seen a lot of support in the chat for the Bingo Night Esports crowd. They are, of course, the favorite. They went like 15-1 and one in IM this season, so... Very, very dominant display from them, despite, you know, having talked to Tulkus and hearing about some of the roster inconsistencies and issues. But, it, you know, the last time uh, Blanc TV covered Bingo Night, that we were watching a Metalworks game, and their roster is the exact same since then. So, luckily and thankfully for them, that has smoothened itself out. And then I guess on the uh, on the flip side, you know, you have, uh, you have the Amos team who just now have to replace one of their players. So, we'll see what kind of dynamic that... Uh, has, you know, especially on two Koth maps to start us off. Indy corrected me saying that Bingo went 13 and 3, and I will just take your word for it because, again, I and yeah. didn't fully check in on the. Actually, I do know that Amos is 9 and 7, uh, and then Bingo Knight, of course, the number one seed. So, all, uh, I mean, all their hopes and dreams of coasting into top 4 next week are uh, going to be reliant on some good old-fashioned King of the Hill scrapping that we will be watching very, very soon, hopefully. 
Hashtag let Puka speak. I don't really know what that means. Um, yeah, does he I'm just not, not sure talk? Uh, but I did. Uh, Tulkus did tell me that um, normally Puka is their pocket and then Tulkus roams, but on King of the Hill they quote uh, shift Puka to more pocket things. Probably means like a couple more Ubers and then Tulkus uh, opts to play a little bit more of the off class. So. Again, it really, you know, soldier roles on King of the Hill don't really, uh, they aren't really distinct unless your name is Krajan and you just waddle. Uh, but, you know, I feel like these guys, uh, these soldiers on on blue, they're gonna they're gonna have a field day because clear cut is a little bit, you know, uh, more wide horizontally, which gives them some more airspace to work with, so they aren't just immediately denied by scouts. Uh, people talk about the config, hopefully that will also be fixed in short order, because we do have all 12 in the server, just one player in Spectator, um, and I mean, we'll be going live shortly. I mean, I hate I hate doing predictions, especially for playoffs, but we might as well get it out of the way as a formality. I am just going to have to roll with the obvious favorite, the betting favorite, Bingo Night Esports. I'm going to say that they're... DM slash coordination will be just a, t a notch above Amos, and I think they'll just put it away in two maps. I'm going to have to concur. I think this is going to be a two map affair. We're just going to see Bingo Knight take their DM all the way home on both of these maps. So, I mean, we're both going for Bingo Knight in two maps. I'll say, like, I think the first map will be closer than the second one, because again, Clear Cut is a little more. New Thick? of a map, I'm oh, sure. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so a little bit, you know, less developed strategies and familiarity. So I'll say like, I'll say four two on clear cut for Bingo, and then like uh, a four one for on Viaduct. Um, what font do you use for your overlay? Uh, I don't remember. I just went on some random ass website and was like, hey. I'm gonna click the thing, and then type a thing, and then download a thing, and then, then it's there. So, graphic design is my passion, of course. I swear I turned off Twitch alerts. I don't know how this is happening. Hold on. How could you allow this, Terry? Um, yeah, I tried to turn them off for cast, and I have it set to not show. So I don't, I don't know. But thank you for the follow. <laughs> oh, we're going live. We're going live. All right, here we go, here ladies we and go. gentlemen. We have Bingo Night Esports LLC in the blue versus Amos Nate Wales 59 in the red. I'm just gonna find the demo man instantly. Denisovich, COVID 22. He's and super Dennis fast. So oh fast. my god. Call this guy JoJo because he's just taking position on the point early. Um, but I mean, nothing really happening. Soldiers are flying in on both sides. There goes Puka. He gets cleaned up immediately. Oh, air sticky. And then a pipe too. So again, King of the Hill. What what more do you want? Just non-stop fighting. <gasps> Taco Cat winning a one... Well, he was sort of like a 2v1. But now he's really, really hurt against the scout, though he does have a soldier buddy with They're him. chasing Dot out. Yeah, Dot Wet is just going to no, have to run tacos. away. No, there we go. We're stabilizing, finally. Uh, point goes to blue. I mean, I gotta say, that is uh, that was on the back of Denisovich being super, super early to mid and then getting two kills. Also, Craig stayed alive, so now they are doing the patented Shack hold. And here come the projectiles flying in. Tulkus wow. is staring forward, but they're not looking at behind, and Challenger got the bomb into the back door. I don't know where their second soldier was, but Puka was not standing at the back door to protect that side. The Devil Man flew in, got the force off, so a really nice four-man uh, out of Amos, and it looks like... A mini forward hold? No, okay. Dennis just wanted to put up some traps, uh, and now... Oh, actually, so Dotwet is on scout, and then Freddy Freaker was the ringer on soldier, actually. So that's the that's a little bit of the change, I guess. So well, now... it seems to be a workable one, as that four-man did work out in their favor. And now here comes this Uber with Challenger. Oh, but he gets in a little bit too deep, and he's unable to be saved by his medic. It looks like DT will pick up both soldiers and might even get on top of a scout. No, he's going to turn around. Oh, and he actually just gets piped away by Dennis. And now Whale Mart hiding in the other team's shack. His team has lost two scouts. So really, really tough position now for Red, who also have not capped the point either. Um... So it's not looking good. Whalemar does try to bomb. He's going for the Market Gardener, and he does not get it. He did get the Force, though. Uh, Absolutely. 
Challenger trying to connect some pipes. Unfortunately, he's just going to get cleaned up. This means Dot Wet and his medic Bibble, BBL, have uh, escaped with 50% Uber and counting. So now, I mean... Uh, I'm just it, watching his red kind of just end up throwing themselves over and over and over again into an absolute meat grinder. They're not really moving together and they're getting crushed for it. Yeah, so the first soldier has bombed in kind of a little fake bomb, a tease, if you will, for the audience. But now the second soldier, he's also faking it. Oh, but right on top of the scout. That's scout. Oh, Taco Cat makes him crater. Although Puka does trade out in return. Um, but again, trades left and right. And right now this favor is red up until the point where they capped. So now their respawners are going to take a way longer to come back up. <gasps> oh, but... but Cube could not protect his medic, as you can see in the SDB stats, 99%. That's, that's not, yeah, that's that's one of the most painful feelings as a medic. I'd rather die at 100 than 99 every single time. Um, although BBL did die during all that chaos. Again, King of the Hill, you're we're bound to miss something, and so that kill was actually that kill. That makes that kill on Craig way more important because now it's even as opposed to staring at full disad. Um, Red got 30, 30 seconds of cap again. time. Oh, but yeah, like you said, going once right again, into the grinder. It's just someone on red is always dead when the fight is initiated. And <laughs> Tokus just exploring. Tokus and Puka just exploring just everything. Puka forces them to come back. Yeah. And now we have just Blues holding on to this. Oh my god, Tokus. <laughs> Well, oops. And then he said, oh, just salvage what? instead. Just... He's wow. still alive. That this... is absolutely savage. If this is still happening, they can't, they won't even get a second cap on that point. Blue take it convincingly with two and a half minutes left. Uh, that is what we call a clinic in the in the sh in the showing there from Bingo Night Esports LLC. They just dominated from start to finish, and uh, they're looking to set the pace, set the precedent here, heading into round number two. I'm going to watch Tulkus. He is 200 health. He's looking for a buff. Dot Wet is already down. Now he's bombing. He's going to try and go for the medic, but kind of gets denied a little bit. Unfortunately for Red Team, they're going to lose four players, and oh boy, it is uh, it is not looking good right and now DT for Amos. He's looking like he's about to go down, yeah, and there he is. BBL Puka left chases. completely alone. Man, Bingo Night Esports, they are feeling themselves right now. That's two very, very dominant mid wins, um, and you know, obviously, winning a mid on cough is uh, quite nice, because it means you get to be the first ones on the cap. So we're going to see what red team likes to do here. Probably sack. They are still down uber percentage. Um, last it, time... No, it looks like they might actually be walking this. Okay, Whalemore flies in, tries to land on top of the scout. Well, they do get Denisovich, so no demo on Bingo's side. Um, Whalemore will go down, but that's a really, really solid trade. Demo for Soldier. Oh, oh well, they're going to lose there a scout we as well. <laughs> Freddy Freaker bombing forward, trying to put some spam out. And Puka's Here on comes them. Puka. He's actually not really going to get anything. Oh, they do get they the just force. Used. And Craig actually popped earlier, right? Because uh, it was even. Yeah, Craig. Um, so Craig's we... already at 40%, so that's a full uber pop difference right now. Yep, so a lot better of a, I guess, retaliation from Amos this time around. They got the cap right I got right back on the cap after about a minute of time elapsed for Bingo. Um, but of course, as you mentioned earlier, Craig is staring at a pretty juicy 50% Uber advantage. So uh, Red Team have to be careful here. Hopefully BBL has been paying attention or carries Solemn Vow to uh, take a sneak peek at the enemy uh, heals. And here we go. I'm going to keep it on the Dennis cam. The soldier's flying in. He will actually get the force. So a nice little two-man. Uh, and they actually kill both soldiers as well. So it's looking pretty good wow. for Amos. And their scouts are just living. Oh my goodness. Look at this collapse. DT managed Ooh. to survive an Uber in Craig. all of Blue's face. Craig is not long for this world. There we go. That's... Challenger takes him down. Ooh, Tulkus flies in. Oh, actually a little bit well, of an overextension from the Amos scouts there. Tulkus and Puka pick up two, and now they can fly in with impunity. No hit scan to worry about whatsoever, although, you know, their health isn't isn't exactly the greatest. But um, Ubers will be roughly dead even uh, 
Honestly, that was a really, really good sequence uh, of events there for Amos. They had a really good hold. Now the soldiers are flying in, still trying to... Ooh! Absolutely. And there they go. Two more down once again. Challenger. Challenger. Oh my god, and he hits the long-range pipe onto Cube as well. This man is waking up, and he's going in deep. I don't know about this one. If you die here, that could be really bad. All right, he just wanted to give him a little spook. He wanted to scare him <laughs> off a little bit, and then he's just gonna he's just gonna run I like, away. I appreciate the play. <laughs> there, I he's think trying that's to... All uh, yeah, he's trying to assert his dominance, you know. He's like, you got that first round, but watch this. I'm going to get a 3k. I'm going to scare the living daylights out of your team as well. Um, DT and Challenger are really combining to really punish uh, Bingo's over-aggression that they thought they could get away with from that last round. Okay, the red Uber, I was about to say. Uh, Craig had to be careful now, this but... Is this Denisovich. Is a danger, oh, they're not they're not focusing the de the demo. The demo was 17 health and then Tulkus and, and the projectiles oh, just no. collapsed. Challengers just oh. stuck behind. They know it. He's he bombing. Almost ate that. And just yeah, that's mm. that's about how you expect it to go after that kind of push. I mean, but it's okay. They they took off so much that's time. That's true. That's true. They did take off a lot of time at the at the same time. You know, I understand the need to the, the you know the the rush to get the medic there, but that demo Dennis was 17 health. So like, if you had managed to kill him, as we see soldiers oh, flying in Puka jumping back onto his own shack. Dotwet gets taken down by Taco Cat. Challenger gets taken down as well. An attempted four man. They got Ooh. about 90 damage into Craig, but he will be a okay, especially once the pill bottle uh, respawns back up for him. Um, a nice attempt at a four man, and again they have the time to work with here. So. Uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna see how this upcoming Uber versus Uber push uh, works out. A little bit of an aggressive soldier bomb early from I think that was Puka, but he's just gonna jump right away. And now looks like the red aggression wants to take it through the left. Nope, they're rotating back over to the right. So I'm gonna go find one of the red scouts. I'm gonna find DT. Oh, he eats a hundred. Oh wow! Well, he eats a lot Your of damage. Is gone. Yeah. So no scout here. They pop right onto the point. And they have not forced Craig yet. Craig is actually 130 health. He finally pops. Farmer Brown milking away. Now DT is using the rest of the super. Oh, he knows. I don't know if he knew Dennis was hurt. He could have punished him there. But in fact, he's going to turn his sights onto the medic, perhaps. There's so much chaos. Look at the health oh. on the server. Everybody's in Talk red. a nasty air shot. But, uh, DT. DT DT's still really behind. Hurt. He's flanking the demo man. Hits him with the Timmy too. And that might get the medic as well. Pistol? Oh, there's a heavy. What oh. the heck? Oh, no. There's a heavy on the field, ladies and gentlemen. It is Cube, and he says, I'm going to bring out the Tomislav. Um, so the time, you know, very, very close. Craig, having survived all of that chaos, um, has about 30% advantage. I was going to say earlier, Crazy, I don't know if you noticed, but there was one point where all six of Red's players were like 50 health or less. All six of them. So that was just a crazy lack, un unfortunate lack of focus fire from Blue, I suppose. Uh, but now, 20 seconds pretty much on both sides. What can this cube heavy do? He's just going to watch Dennis die in front of him to stickies. I don't know about the heavy play when you don't have the point. Uh, and now, you know, you're down Puka, you're down Dennis. Cube is desperately waiting for another arrow. He finally gets it, but the scout's in his face. They use the Uber on the heavy. But look at this. Red is just out of there. They are running away. Oh, oh well, and they lose Challenger. Taco manages to take out Challenger, but this this could be a huge mistake. We'll see We'll, well see if Red can actually get themselves together and push on this. Yeah, right. So they have full Uber charge advantage, and all they need is one cap here. So if they get this cap up, they could really, uh, you know, secure this round. And here comes this Uber right on top of Denisovich. But Denisovich serves the meat shots away, and now DT's trying to focus down this heavy. Oh, they do get Tulkus as well. They're doing it. Well, Mark. Oh, well, Puka's... Oh, it's a 3v3. No, 3v4. Remember, they can't let them cap. They can't let them cap. Oh, frags going out left and right. It's just Craig left, and he's going to go down to the Whale Mart soldiers. And what a round. Man, that was, yeah, that was a crazy round. Tri triple zeros on both sides, and uh, Amos tie it right back up. All right, I want to see what Taco Cat's been doing on this mid. I've been neglecting him and he's been making some pretty key picks on these mids give me the taco cat cam he's looking for the soldier Ooh, oh. he got air shot and puka well. says i will take that thank you very much and now it's plus one. Ooh, the taco cat eats a nasty pipe uh puka is flying in really really deep behind enemy lines and now the collapse puka is coming out in. puka should 
He's going to get the bomb, or he's going to at least help with the aggressive red players. Oh, and look at that. Freddy Freaker Ooh, could boy. not convert. Craig was actually full health, so, I mean, again. Yeah, it's... that's a, ooh, that is a full team wipe once again. Yeah, really, really just... solid mids out of Bingo Knight. Um, but as we just saw in the previous round, just because you lose the mid doesn't mean you'll lose the round because uh, Amos and friends, oh, Amos and friends, Amos pulled it all the way back and uh, forced the the triple or the double overtime. Uh, so now the shack hold once again. Do they have someone in the back door this time around? Oh, okay, yes they do. And there we go. And Pretty there classic is. stuff there. Craig was a okay, took zero damage once again. So now, I mean. Red team can afford to run another wave, um, but it looks like blue is set up more aggressively now on the point. They have both their soldiers uh, fully buffed, taking and position it looks like on Red's high ground. To go ahead and push. Yeah, they're already coming Puka's up on ninety percent. I'm gonna go Puka's find Challenger. I'm gonna go find Challenger as he's walking with his team through the top right here. That's all because of spot of the enemy team. He got hurt a considerable amount, so he had to back up. Looks like they're going to walk through their own shack, probably looking for a trade right through this corner, and that's exactly what's going on. Uh, well, Denisovich gets... He's really, really hurt, but he finally gets a little bit of the uber here as Freddy Freaker is just going to have to jump away. Dotwet goes down, so that's a scout down. BBL being pressured by Tulkus, and Tulkus picks him up with clean two rockets, and... Oh, Tulkus man. has been hitting some absolutely nasty rockets. And Puka and also alive. grabs two as well, so that is... I mean, <laughs> this is looking a lot more like the first round there, Krasian, where uh, Bingo Knight just kind of took mid over and then capped the point and then just had a stranglehold on the other team. Craig is simply impervious to all damage. That's true for the last you know couple of sequences that we've seen so far. Um, Red need to get something going here on this round, but Whalemart being down to 25 health is not a good start. DT dying as well. Uh, oh, and Whalemart's just sitting all by his lonesome. Okay, he finally gets the arrow. Now the soldiers are continuing to high bomb all around the map like we've talked about. Puka continuing Ooh. to pick up frags, though Challenger hits him with a nice pipe there. Will Red Team get aggressive here? They, they gotta be careful of this blue uber. Denisovich and Taco Cat could make their lives a living hell if they just get ubered on right here, but... Uh, Taco Cat's just playing defend the point, and, you know, he's not taking much damage. At the same time, this is buying BBL some time to pick up the rest of that Uber, 95%. They're putting cap time as well. Will Bingo and like to use Uber to stop the point? They are. They will. The, the pops come up pretty much simultaneously, and Cube is going to be the first casualty here. Puka playing high ground, waiting for this red Uber to run out. Oh, he's actually getting denied by a soldier, and it looks like Bingo oh. have to... Oh, wait a second. Dennis... Dennis going a while. Oh, he's going to get picked off by Dot, Wet, and DT, though. And now DT deep on the Medic. Oh, with Whale Mart bombing in as well. Oh, and the Market Gardener. There's just action Tulkus, left and no. right. And then Dot, Wet just runs oh. into two scouts. Absolute insanity going on. The mayhem. Absolutely true. This is what King of the Hill is all about, especially in playoffs, nonetheless. Um, so about 30 seconds go down for Amos. But, I mean, bingo. Well, Bingo are at a disadvantage uh, in terms well, of the Uber, but... They're not moving very quickly. Yeah, the there's, there's only eight seconds left. So they Red Team... on the point right now. DT's going to be the first casualty. Taco Cat trades out in response. Ooh, but then Ooh. a three frags for Amos. Although Tolkis is trying to bomb in late and salvage. Oh, it's a... Th no, he dies, actually. Oh, that was Puka, I'm That's sorry. That's not happening, but... I mean... This it's, is a, it's overtime. Yeah, it's like, a great they spot. They have to hold this. This is a really great spot for uh, for Tulkus and his squad here. All they need is one cap. Uh, Uber's going to be dead even, so you know that they're looking to get this, get the Ubers out of the way and then just pick a fight because I feel like uh, every time it's been scrappy, blue team has been coming out on top here. But we'll see what happens. Both medics have that Uber charge. Taco Cat in-house. Looks like they're going to rotate towards the left. Two scouts, a little bit of a chariot strat as they walk in. Uh, Talkus tried down. to go sack. <gasps> oh, but the drop! Oh, Taco no. Cat and Cube just waltz right in and they shut down BBL. They also get two and more Cube picks. That is a nuke if I've ever seen one. Although, well, but uh, no, I mean, this yeah, is, this they have so them. many more players. Ooh, Craig eats a fat rocket there and falls back to the pill, but Freddy Freaker could not convert, and again, yeah, all they need to do is, is cap. 
And that's just going to be it. Oh, that, right. you hate to see it there from BBL. That drop was crucial. They needed to get that Uber exchange to have a chance at maintaining that fight, that hold. But at the end of the day, the Bingo Night Scouts, they got in, got the drop, and uh, we're staring at a 2-1 half here. Yeah, that first round didn't make it look like we were going to see very much, but immediately Amos fires back with an absolutely beast second round. Uh, it looks like, to me at least, Terry, you have to either back me up or tell me if I'm wrong here. It seems like DT uh, just managing to survive and just confuse the blue Ubers has really helped his team. On top of Challenger just rolling out damage just left, right, and center for everybody on this map. Yeah, and Cube with a quick ready. I'm wanting to keep their momentum going. I'm going to peek at the stats here, and oh my god. Denisovich, 400 DPM, Krasian. 24, like 24 and 7. So... Mm. He's looking like, uh, he's looking like, was it Cray in the Div 1 game? He's looking like Cray on Clear Cut <laughs> because he's doing all the damage, getting all the kills, and never dying. Um, he's got That's seven deaths. That's what you deaths. Like to see from your demo, man. Craig has four deaths. Um, so, I mean, whew. I mean, to be fair, again, Challenger is also doing a great job. 360 DPM. His KD looks a little bit worse, but obviously, uh, again, it should be mentioned that the Amos round was very, very back and forth, whereas the two Bingo Night rounds that we've seen so far, they've kind of dominated. Um, so that will lead to the, uh, I guess, the discrepancy in the stats. Um, but I mean, overall, all right, here at Blanc TV, we're not, we don't like, we're not trying to like actively shit on players. I'm just pointing out the stats here. Uh, Whale Mart is in a little bit of the struggle bus here. His numbers are not looking so hot. He's going 4 and 18 right now, 175 DPM. So again, you know, his team did lose two rounds very, very convincingly. Um, so his stats are certainly not going to look exciting. Um, but that's a little bit rough to see. Hopefully he can pick it up in the second half. What else am I seeing? DT doing 270 DPM. That is uh, the highest of all the scouts in the server. The other three scouts are floating in that 230 to 240 range. Uh, and actually, 14 kills on DT, Taco Cat, and Dot Wet, but it's Cube that's 21 kills. So he's also playing very, very well. Cleaning up off of all the crazy damage that Dennis is putting out. I am a professional Dennis simp, says Lilith Fool. <laughs> 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 and thank you to all the all the people that have followed uh, Boolean flags, Mogul soap. Thank you guys. Appreciate it for th thanks for thanks for hanging out with us tonight as we continue to watch I am playoffs uh, in RGL season four. It's looking to playoffs this season are you know they're they're quite spicy and that's what we love to see when it all matters the, when it matters the most which teams are going to step up and deliver. And uh, right now, I mean, Bingo are taking it to Amos. Um, at the same time, I gotta wonder, you know, since Bingo did pick this map and uh, Amos picked Viaduct, maybe, maybe they, maybe the red team has a little more tricks up their sleeve when we switch over to Viaduct. But we'll have to worry about that later because we got the second half coming right up here. Bingo Night Esports up two to one over Amos Nate Wales, 59. Uh, I'm gonna watch the man of the previous half, Denisovich COVID-22. All right, both demos are getting here roughly the same time. Oh. But uh, already, like I said last half, the instant a fight is taken, Red loses somebody. Yeah, I mean, Whalemar did a really, really fast bomb. Unfortunately, couldn't really connect the rockets onto Denisovich. And, and BBL is down. Yeah, and make it... BBL is down. Oh, wow. Yeah, this Ooh, it's a scrappy fight right now. Red. It's just another scrappy fight, but it looks like Blue with their heals, with their player advantage, are going to come out on top. Challenger's going to die there, and that is a fourth straight mid-win here for Bingo Knight. Red team really needs to figure something out on these mids. They're just... They're, they're I feel like they're the just kind of... Yeah, you know, they're... The definition they're, of insanity right now is what it kind of feels like. They're throwing bodies kind of one at a time, and Blue is just playing together collectively saying, well, if you're going to throw a single player at us, we're all just going to focus him down before we shoot the rest of you. That's exactly what happened. Not to mention with BBL going down, you have another wave of sacks coming in very, very soon. The that double like sticky Challenger jump from Challenger. Yo, let's go. He's in. He's flying deep. Oh, he has oh. a chance. He piped him. He nice. Nice he play. He got the force on it. So, I mean, for what it's what worth, Amos and Amos, 
they are two for three in terms of the four-man sack to get a force out, despite the shack hold, so really, really good from them. And now That's BBL. That's what we call a third down conversion. Oh, yeah, uh. let's go. <laughs> so now BBL, full uber charge. Where are they going to work? Puka is doing a little hiding. Well, never mind. He's going to do a preemptive high bomb into Valley. There's nobody for him to shoot. And he's going to dip around back in the house. And, and now Dennis just dies he dies to the one. uber. Yeah, two soldiers behind Tolkis. Uh, with Tackle Cat dying, Tolkis is now fighting a 1v1 with a scout in the shack. Oh, but he's going to turn that turns, turns out into a 3v1. A <laughs> <laughs> and actually, is Puka still behind? Yeah, he is still behind. So I was going to say, is were Tolkis and Puka going to go do something together? It turns out not the case. Puka still just hiding in the enemy's house. I'm going to keep tabs on him because as we see, Craig with full uber charge advantage, you could look for a little pincer maneuver here. Use the uber, push them back into Puka. Never mind, Puka's just going to bomb. He's going to land right on top of the medic. Hits him with the first rocket. I think he miffed. miffed biffed the second miffed, one biffed, miffed yeah. biffed whiffed all three of those for the second rocket he will escape though so that's pretty good and then challenger and dotwick go down tolkis and taco cat trade out but i feel like this is favorable for blue oh but they're gonna cap and no, delay their yeah. spawns Ooh. well they actually only delayed their spawns by <laughs> about three seconds Oops. oh whale mart fell to a clumsy painful death you hate to see that um okay well no, i like puka's idea of advanced scouting 101 but uh Ooh, dot wet. I was about to say, this dude lagging, and he's got 130 ping, so that is that is not what you like to see. Um, but here comes the blue uber. It is actually dead even, so once again, another trade going out here, except Craig, once again, milking expertly. They do pick off cube right away, though, so this post uber should favor red as, uh, well, whale mark goes down, and now BBL's kind of separated from the rest of his team. They're, they're not playing together right now. Oh... Okay, finally, looks like players are re regrouping around the point. Oh, okay, Medic and two scouts versus a Medic and a Demo and a scout. So here comes this fight, Denisovich. He's trying to dump out the damage. Oh, he hits a pipe immediately onto Dot Wet. And then he kills D DT with an, uh, another Sticky as well. Wow. Taco Gat cleans up Dot Wet, and oh my goodness. The curtain is closing right now on Amos Dennis for this round. Dennis just slamming the door right in Amos' face. And then the Whale Mart insane. Bomb, he couldn't quite convert. What happened? My Twitch crashed. Um, we're seeing another very, very solid round out of Bingo Night Esports once again. With BBL dying and Craig staying alive, this is going to be full disad, and there's only 30 seconds left, so you won't even have time to run a four-man. Um, man. It's, it's, it's looking tough here, but, I mean, anything is possible on King of the Hill. These are upset maps no doubt but they have to For do they have to do everything they got to get the uber they got to stay alive and then re-collapse onto the point uh they do start off it's by killing start. puka so that's a good start yeah and then well dot went dying everyone on red is in the red again uh, the focus firing from blue is just picking them apart the uber pumps out from craig oh, bbl oh. trying to hit something he was actually on crits creed not like it would have mattered but uh it's just you know they're just kind of uh What's the word I'm looking oh. for? Oh, filing away their taxes as they clean up the last couple of red players. Uh, here comes the bomb. Oh. <laughs> Wellmar does get the market well, garden to kill. Uh, he still so. had something to say, Terry. <laughs> you, can't, you, can't, you can't talk bad about him until it's over. <laughs> Blue, Blue is just carrying this far and away, making this oh my goodness. clinic. So 3-1 for Bingo, and the BBL has stayed on Kritz Krieg. So. Ooh. I mean, Let's see how we do with this. All right, so once again, the strategy, Whale Mart bombing in by himself. He kind of just gets owned by the Scout class, because Scout class pretty good. And now Bingo Knight have a player advantage to work off of. Although this kind of feeds into the red strat of running the crits. They could bait blue under the point, and then hope Challenger just hits the, the home run sticky to get like three kills. Puka bombs in, he couldn't get anything. I don't know if he spotted the fact that the red medic was on crits. It's coming up soon. Challenger, I'm going to keep it on his cam. He, they they're pop using... the crits, and they don't get anything with the first sticky. The second sticky, everything is whiffed. Oh, he, he, he does kill Q, Q but, but that's just not going to be enough. I feel like uh, Blue had an idea there, and so they, they predicted that it was coming up. Dot Wet's going to try and flank around Shaq, maybe? No, but Dennis is just staring at him, and he gets sandwiched by Puka. Red has just been... Always bleeding, always hurt. Yeah, and the look at how BBL gets away look at how aggressive Blue miracle. is in this corner. Oh my goodness, DT tried to get the kill. Nice arrow by Craig to keep his demo man alive, and again, and wow, lets Dennis hit more pipes. Going. Oh, okay, but Whale Mark comes in 
during all of that chaos and he manages to pick up Craig. So this is going to be a very, very big crits advantage. Unfortunately, it is crits. Tulkus trying to get the Market Gardener kill onto Challenger, not able to convert it. Um, but he's going for round two and he's whiffed, but he does <laughs> kill him with the rocket. So now... Uh, As we said, respect the play, even if it's an absolutely terrible one. It, uh... It ends up working out. All right, here's the crazy part here. Amos, they're waiting for Challenger to respawn, which is there the correct play. This is the first time we've seen it all map along. The other team, <laughs> neither of these teams have been privy to uh, letting their players respawn faster. But, I mean, I'm going to keep it on the Challenger cam, man. He's got to hit this crits. Um, and I feel it's like Blue, Blue should this. know this because BBL didn't die, I believe. Correct, um, he did not. So, so the so, awkward thing now is that like you have the point, but the longer you take, the more likely that blue could get uber. And yeah, look at this. They're walking forward really aggressively, and Challenger tries to get stickies off. Well, they pick off Taco Cat. They're not really going to get anything else. They do actually get three kills, make it four. Um, so, I mean, that will it, help shave off yeah. a little bit more time. But, you know, Craig stayed alive, so this is full uber charge advantage now for Bingo. But yeah, that was absolutely the correct play. They had to use that crit somehow. And hey, getting four guys off of it, not a bad trade. No, that's a it's a it's a good crits in terms of the kills that they got, but it was a bad crits in terms of challenger because he didn't actually get any oh, of yeah. these kills. Okay, here comes this Uber. Freddy Freaker saw them pop by the shack. Uh, and they're flying right in on oh. top of BBL. The collapse. Oh, no. DT goes down as well. Make make it four players down. Now Whale Mart in behind, but oh my god, three players were shooting him. Tolkas finishes him off with the spoon, the Jay Hyun Pei special, and uh well, the good news is, because Blue capped and then killed the Red Medic with the Uber, BBL is only staring at about, like, well, okay, they're not building very well now, so it's 25 to sad, but earlier it was only, like, 15. Um, well, Terry, you're missing one key component. Is it BBL still crits? Still oh, crits. boy, this is desperation time. <laughs> and then oh, he's no. dead to, to Tolkis, so... Tolkis and Puka just bombed yeah. him at the same time. Just finished him. I mean, kind of kind of what I predicted earlier, I just felt like on this map, Tulkus and Puka are going to be able to force whatever they want, and the Red Soldiers are not going to be able to do so. That is a, that is a basically is a full team wipe there. Just Only an Puka. nightmare. You're staring at a full Uber disad, and you have a crit screen. Yeah, and uh, with 60 seconds left, BBL will have crits when there's if he's building well, about 30, 35 seconds left on the clock if they're lucky, but I feel like they just don't have time. Amos, Nate Wales need to get in like now and then kind of Challenger hope. setting up. They need to hope for, oh, is he going in? Oh he's no, in. I missed it. But Tolkis is here. And yeah, that's. Uh, oh, Craig that did drop. Get, Craig oh, did drop. Wow. So, I mean, that's, that's still pretty good. Uh, another successful four man sack out of Amos. So I missed it because I was. I was busy trying to find the challenger cam, but uh, <laughs> when all is said and done, Freddy Freaker gra grabbed the drop, took the Uber away from Craig's hands. Now Tulkus hiding in a little bit of a sneaky spot up on the that left. full crits ad. Is Wait, what? The what soldier? No, he had no idea. And then Tulkus just says thank you. The crits creep comes out, and now Tulkus is bombing the medic. Oh, he gets shut down by the scout. Uh, wow. It is a 4v4, and then DT does kill Denisovich, so it looks like Amos will grab the point here, but again, they have a lot they of work cut out for them. A, they got a minute. They overtime, and they screwed Dot wet. Oops. Yeah, so, well, I mean, he's back up already, so it's not, not too, too yeah. bad. Um, I'd say the more concerning thing is that they still have 90 seconds to go, and they're still on crits. So, uh, if Blue Team play their cards right, they should get a successful push and then kind of finish off around, uh, map number one here. But we'll see what I happens. Think. The soldier flying deep into enemy territory. Denisovich just looking forward, trying to shoot Freddy Freaker instead. Uh, and actually, yeah, Wilmart does go down, but Dennis is so low, he's 8 health! Oh, but again, he manages to live. Oh, no. oh that's just the huge this crash. Heartbreak. The tidal wave from Bingo Night Esports. That's going to be six up, six down, and they will finish off map number one in style. Four, Four to one. one. There we go. That's uh, somewhat of an expected result, especially after that first round really set the pace. Round two during that first half was a, uh, a great surprise, but unfortunately ever since then it's just kind of been a stuck on Denisovich's wild ride and no getting off of that one. Yeah, I mean, I feel like um, for the round that they won, Amos just played together very, very well. 
and then unfortunately the other four rounds they kind of just lost mid because they got predictable and then it just spiraled out of control from there and then obviously running the full-time desperation crits it it worked a little bit but it wasn't really enough for them to claw back into the game unfortunately so that will be bingo night esports going up one to zero in the series now we're going to be moving over to viaduct or product depending on if you're a boomer or not um and well again i'm not going to lose hope because they did look really solid that one round that they took for amos nate wales uh and this is their map pick so maybe they got a sniper perhaps that will uh put on his best gungan impression and just decimate the server uh from start to finish we will find out momentarily um can you give me percent heals for each player last half i can go check um if you're talking about the the second half when it was just 2-0 for bingo uh, I can actually link the logs, how about that? I'll do that instead. Yeah, that'll make it easier. So those are the second half logs. Um, it looks like, I mean, again, Denisovich 12 and 4, 429 DPM. Jeez, this dude. You gotta love it, though. This dude was on fire, and he just did not miss. And neither did Taco Cat as well, 14 and 4. But you know what? Talkus went 17 and 9. He top fragged that half, Krasian. He's he looking like you out there on comp with <laughs> all of his kills, just top fragging in the server. You gotta love it. That's the, uh, known as the proper roamer sacking on <laughs> uh. Yeah, I mean, like, they, again, I, 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 I want to say that the score was a little bit deceiving, but at the same time, some of those, some of those rounds that Bingo had were just chokeholds, and they just completely I really think stuffed that second half was, That second half really was just a like full momentum. On, yeah, that was just a full Nelson going right onto it. There's no getting out of that. Yeah, it was so... it was kind of over right as that second half started, just with how Bingo Knight has managed to set the pace, set the tone. Mm -hmm. Those um... soldiers just constantly going for Market Gardener, Chagan, Pay, Frags. Oh, yeah. Tulk has changed name to Tulk Ass Tasty. I don't know how I feel about this one. Um, if his team loses this map, I know why. Uh, but anyway, you know, we got Viaduct coming up. Uh, again, more cough, so these guys are not going to let us breathe very, very much. Um, but we well, could be seeing like fast gameplay once again, because I mean, clear cut for a lack of a better word, went by pretty quickly. I think Whale Mart is. Uh, we might have to keep an eye on him, depending on what he decides to do. But it looks like he's already practicing his sniper. There's no telling if he'll beat the sniper though. But. If he is, I'll say that the pregame shots are looking pretty crisp. Yeah, I would imagine that if anyone on Bingo is going to switch over to Sniper, it will be Tulkus. Uh, especially because he is one of their soldiers, and as you all know, Scout Class, Go Vroom on Viaduct, and in general. Um, meanwhile, for uh, Amos, Amos Nate Whale's side, I mean, it's going to be... Well, it's hard for me to predict, simply because obviously Clearcut is not a very sniper-friendly map. Although I gotta, again, I gotta bring to attention Dotwet's 130 ping. I don't know if that's just internet trouble or if that's actually what he normally plays with, but uh, probably won't have him snipe unless you want to go for the old Brazilian power strategy of just having a sniper that will shoot you around the corner without cheating. Well, I mean, that, I'd say that's a legitimate strategy, just have someone move to Brazil. The, the mother clucker saying, isn't Whalemart locked off of Sniper? Oh, is he class restricted? Is he a Highlander player? Okay, well, if he is, if if he is, then, well, no Sniper for right. you, mister. Or missus, I don't know. Um, One of those? I mean, yeah, they're, just, is they're, just, off of they're just playing it in pregame, so it's fine. They are class restricted, you said? Yes, they are. Uh -oh. Still, it was interesting, but, uh, oh, you know. Oh, we got oh. Squiddy in the chat. What's up, Squiddy? So, I mean, yeah, if, if, if you're Amos right now, you just got to do that quick reset, that mental reset. Sure, map number one didn't go your way, but now you're on your pick, so I'm assuming uh, because they picked this map, they're a little bit more comfortable uh, and or just, you know, have some tricks up their sleeve. Um, the only real uh, off-class we saw last map was when Cube went heavy, right, with the Tommy Slob and then kind of didn't really do anything besides eat a lot of heals and then 
die by himself in a corner. Oh, just like uh, God intended for heavy. Ah, of course. Especially uh, on a cough map. So, I mean, again, beef, you know, my, my pregame prediction was that Clearcut would have been the closer of the two Koth maps, but after seeing what Bingo Knight did to them, I don't know. I mean, I, I did predict 4-1 on Viaduct, but I might have to revise that go and look more like a 4-0 if, um, if Amos don't have anything, you know, lying in wait. But yeah, watch we will find out. Yeah, right? They're going <laughs> to 4-0 them now. Easy. Uh, and then we're going to get a third map. But uh, right now we do have... All 11. We're just waiting on Craig. He is, you know, refreshing his mind after playing some intense King of the Hill Medic. Of course, Medic, a very bad class. Medic on Koth, even worse class. It is, again, Prison. Let that be known. Um, but... But, unfortunately, most people do it to themselves, Terry. That's tr that's just that's just facts. <laughs> Craig is calming his wife down. <laughs> oh, no. Well, then... Uh, yeah, she she uh, she in the stream. She she <laughs> she watching her husband pop off in IM playoffs. Um, but I mean, I think that uh, I think that if if Amos can get some really good mids going, because again, I don't like, they did not win a single one on clear cut. Uh, but Challenger was doing a pretty good job challenging <laughs> uh, Denisovich in terms of like the damage uh, output in the first half especially. And again, DT was also making frags. Uh, he was collecting them a lot. I think they have a chance here if they can figure out mids. That's just going to be step number one. But we're going to be going live. So here we go. Uh, Bingo Night Esports in the blue jerseys. They're up 1-0 in maps. They're, face they're, they're facing. Now they're trying to put away Amos Nate Wales, 59. I'm watching Denisovich because you dominated the first map. And now you're on a much more compacted environment so I can only expect the DPM numbers to be even bigger but look at this both teams kind of playing it nice and slow here comes the soldier bombing Dennis actually That's deciding actually, to take wow. a look at him Red what? is just absolutely getting mulched right now and wow Amos is taking that pretty convincingly honestly oh well not uh, Tolkien Puka and, oh Puka and Tolkien they managed yep they get they get BBL so consolation frag a very very important one um but hey Kind of like what I said, Amos and friends. Amos and friends. I gotta stop doing that. Amos, they grab the mid, <laughs> and uh, they're looking pretty good right now. Uh, it will be uh, actually slight disad uh, because BBL was by his lonesome when he died. Unfortunately, um, they're asking, "Aren't you denied from sniper?" I mean, he was only playing sniper yeah. in the pregame, so nothing for you guys to worry about right now. All you gotta do is watch the aggression coming out from blue. I'm gonna keep my cam on. Give me Tulkus' cam, even though his name is questionable. He's going to bomb this soldier up on concrete, and he's just going to put him away. Although the second soldier oh. now waddles forward, and Whalemar picks him off. So Tulkus in. A pretty interesting Tulkus exchange. In. Oh, but look at Cube. Cube is hunting for this medic. BBL is all by himself, and he's just going to get pistoled down. He's going to bring out the melee, and he wow. gets it with the kill. Is he going to bleed to death? Uh, he might. Oh, the no. health pack saved him just in one time. Health. He was one, one health. health. Ladies and gentlemen, the sword, the melee, and oh man, it looked okay for uh, Blue at first, but then they scattered. They left BBL unattended, and then and uh, Bingo's looking to uh, bring this match back under control. Yep. I mean. Look at this, they have the point. Now the players on blue are flying in. Taco Cat gets uh, Market Garner. Wow. Ooh, nice bomb by Freddy Freaker, though. So, again, the four-man. Hello. It's still working out really, really well for Amos. They're still getting the forces out. They're just kind of struggling a little bit in these transitions. <laughs> you were like 10 meters from me, says <laughs> Taco Cat. Yeah, that's how Market Garner works. So the farther you are, the more likely it is to hit you, actually. Uh, unless your I name is Krasian. Um, I'm absolutely loving the, oh, uh, the Market some Gardner. More. Oh, no. He's going for another one! Oh my goodness. And now oh we try to get on top of BBL. That was, uh, that was questionable, but you know what? Respect. Man. Alright. I gotta. I guess I gotta watch the soldiers more if they're just gonna be going for these hilariously dumb market gardener attempts. Um, but as the, the cap gets leapfrogged, BBL full uber charge, Craig coming up on 70%. Um, they are gonna start working their way in. A little bit of a mini forward hold there from DT. Oh my well, well, goodness. Say goodbye to Cube. Whoops. Um, and yeah, it is a forward hold for sure now coming out of Amos. The pyro here, kind of, well, the scout's kind of beefing on the pyro. Finally getting some damage. There goes the pyro. Oh, no. oh they do get forced, Graham's though. Done so much. 
Yeah, but look too at this. Too late, too they got the force out. Oh, and Whale Wait. is just in. <gasps> I'm not oh watching the right God. cam. Oh, he's going to get out of the heavy. Um, <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Whale did so much to justify that pop. Like, that, yeah. was, that was perfect for having the pop. That was perfect. And yeah, they're they're ahead of the time. Ooh, and Challenger pipes away Puka as well. They do have to be careful of this Uber coming up, so Denisovich uh, might look for a, a bomb opportunity here, but no. Oh, yeah, here it is. Here he goes. He's bombing up on top of the other team's cliff, trying to put stickies out on the scout. He's okay. He connects the pipe. He kind of whiffed the stickies, but just one pick, so a really, really nice job scattering there out of... Uh, out of blue, uh, cap goes down, but look at this, 50% advantage for BBL, Freddy Freaker was 10 health, but I think an arrow will patch him up in in a, in a short order, and now I'm gonna go find, uh, I'm gonna go find DT here, they're walking their heels up onto Cliff, 90%, it's probably just gonna be, again, a sequence of leapfrogs, but, I mean, Without seeing much else, Amos are already looking a lot better on Ooh. this map. Although this Uber is a little bit early. Although Freaky Freddy Freaker, he bombs in and he gets Craig. And now DT going with a melee kill. He gets oh. Denisovich with the bleed. It's crazy. 3v3. Oh, Puka comes in and kills off oh uh, the medic. It's and it's just a 2v1. Is Cube going to go fight this? He's he's walking in. He might want he, to. He wants to try and deny this point. But I don't know. You got a soldier and a scout. He's kind of giving them the jukes, but no one's really hurting each other. I guess Wellmart is down to about half health, but Cube is just gonna... He's just gonna bug them for a little bit, and then regroup with his respawners. What's up, Flesh Score? That wasn't a bad way to do it. Yeah, it, it wasn't a bad it wasn't a bad exchange, but here comes the Wellmart bomb! He's flying in, he's trying to focus down the medic, I don't know about that one. There he gets he chewed apart by the scout. And Dotwit does kill Denisovich, though, so again, all this crazy-ass action going on. Uh, Leaving both teams down two players, and BBL healing his demo man and his scout. Puka and Freddy Freaker trade lives. Taco Cat, actually Taco Cat and Q both needing arrows. Oh no, they're not going to do it again, are they? They're going to oh, leave their medic unattended, and they and let Taco Cat again. get the kill. Challenger. It just keeps happening. Oh, and now Tulkus. We got sniper action. Sniper cam. Never mind, he's running back to spawn. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that will be the end of that, I think, as now this soldier's kind of going in by himself, Whale Mart. Uh, kind of like what we saw in the early mids on Clear Cut Creation, where uh, Blue Team just kind of threw a player one by one, but here comes this Uber, Dennis Bomb. Uh, this Uber isn't the greatest. Dennis does get a flash at the end to protect himself, but they actually got zero kills, because Whale Mart got... Whale Mark got converted before the Uber came out, so now it's just going to be another DM scrap fest. Ooh, DT wins the 1v1 with Taco Cat, and now he's all over Denisovich, and Challenger helps pick him up. So now this is plus two, never mind, plus one for uh, blue team, and they're just getting well, some uh, more frags. It's just, and Craig's left alone. Craig's down. Well, this is looking so, so, so much more convincing from Amos. Yeah, they... This looks a lot better. They're playing a lot more uh, together, although there was two instances where they kind of left BBL out to dry. But there we go, Challenger stickies off Taco Cat, trying to get back onto the point. And 1-0 uh, here for Amos, Nate Wales. I, I have the feeling that Whale and Freddy are doing just an absolute ton for their team. I am actually really want to watch Whale going into this mid just to see what he's doing. Alright, give me the Whale cam. He's just, just sitting, sitting on, on his own spam. side for now. Again, both teams uh, elected to play it very, very passive uh, early on. And that looks to be the star. Oh, but Puka. Wow. Oh, Puka well, kills BBL. Man. Cube kills Dotwet. He's going for the spoon. He doesn't hit it. He gets a rocket off. He could actually get the frag. Yeah, and that's... nice direct there from Whalemar. And he gets the scout as well. And he gets and Soldier. He gets Puka. Good, oh, thing. Good no. call. Good call on the whale mark cam, because even though his team lost the round, he got three kills, which will no doubt help his squad re-aggress much later in the much later in the fight. So big play out of whale mark. Like he literally salvaged that salvage, fight. Honestly. Yeah, exactly. They were down two. Oh, but we got action. Dot web trying to fight the point. Kind of caught in the 1v1 out on Cliff. Cube is looking for him. Oh. Uh, well, actually, Cube gave him the juke. Or no, sorry, the, the scout gave him the juke. Dot wet. He ran away. He slithered so away. So much of blue is hurt, but they're going to live. And yeah, and again, this is second mid-fight because no team has gotten the first cap down. Uh, Cube now electing to say, I want to be the first cap. The blue demo man bombs him. The soldier in his face as well. But he's just avoiding damage. Although DT and Wellmar pick up Dennis and Puka. So no two less projectiles. But again, just scrappy fighting all over the place. I cannot keep 
track of everything, but BBL did die. But, BBL oh, did die. So. And Craig's still up. Craig's got full Uber. So once again, I'm just going to point out that no one has capped still in this round. <laughs> Finally, this, it looks like Amos it. will cap it, but not, but not for long. Although Cube does die to the stickies. Um, I mean, I feel like Bingo can just waltz right back in, use the threat of their Uber to cap. I don't think they'll oh, need to pop Dennis here. Just hit oh. two 100 damage stickies and then BBL dies again! Mm. Oh no, BBL, no. Well, I, at least uh, at least Bingo capped up the point, which respawns BBL right away. So it's only a 15% disset. It's not it's not the yeah. worst. It's not the worst. Um, but, but having your med die three times in one minute, that's <laughs> what, just... What is Lilith oh. fool in chat saying? I'm going to name my kid Uber and just drop it all the time. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, oh. Whale Mart's going to be the first casualty in this next fight here. Uh, I mean, well, it looks like the, the one frag has been enough to at least secure blue the retake for now although this soldier flying in on the rock he gets cleaned up domination kill for dt onto puka uh and now trying to help his team on concrete side but he is just so so low but actually the frags are all working out in favor of amos once again playing a lot more together on this map than they were on clear cut creation three picks for them uh and now the uber advantage will probably be stunted because bbl is already at 80 percent oh but they're <gasps> already forcing out right Oh, Challenger! Gosh. He got three! Make it four! That's he just... five! Wait, air pipe? Air pipe? Oh, else. Freddy gets the air shot. That. Oh my goodness, the Craig drop. I was I was just trying to say, would, would Blue get caught out by the 20% disad that they were facing? But Challenger said, no, I'm going to solo hold the cliff side and just absolutely destroy everything that Bingo held dear as they walked out. He picked up four and that will give his team a significant foothold. But now we're going to see how the bingo sack works here. Uh, we saw Amos have a lot of successful sacks. Oh, but instead they're going to use an Uber very, very aggressively. Oh, this could be good if Challenger gets on top of them. If only my camera could find him. DT actually picks off Dennis, and this medic is caught. This medic is so caught. Yep. And actually, it was, it was BBL with the Sol and Vow kill, too. Oh, no. BB... <laughs> BBL manages to get out. And Tolk is wanting to do something, but there's there's no going. You can't, and you can't afford that. I mean, th another another really solid showing right now out of Amos Nate Wells. That drop was huge from Challenger. That swung all of the momentum into the blue side. Uh, I should not watch Dotwood because that dude is laggy or has high ping. Uh, <laughs> Freddy Freaker taking his own cliff. Ooh, Ooh Tolkis gets home run piped away, and Taco Cat. Just... Destroyed. Oh, Taco Cat actually wins a 1v1, but now here comes the Freddy Freaker Bomb. He's going to land right on top of the scout. Say goodnight. Now turning his attention to the goes, Demo Man. BBL did BBL die. Yep. So Dennis hits a long-range pipe of his own. Taco Cat's actually still behind. Reeking Havoc, getting a lot of health. And DT on Craig. Craig's gone. Taco Cat, 1 HP. This dude, is he just refuses to die. <laughs> Curse well, of the caster. You had to say something. <laughs> <laughs> I heard Nighthawk laughing in the background too, so I don't know if she was laughing at me, but regardless, we're going to see Red try and retake this point here. Dead even Ubers on both sides, but look at this, Amos and... I keep doing it, dude. Amos, still aggressive as always, denying Red the capture. They only have 15 seconds left to take it to a 2-0 halftime. Challenger's going to be the first death, though. That is not what you want to see if you are on blue. Uh, and it but Whale is just... Whale is just killing everyone. Oh no, if Freddy, no, I don't know if you saw, but he was trying to retreat on yeah. Cliff with his medic, but he had no ammo, so he could not protect uh, BBL in time. And now, I mean, Bingo Night Esports are like, all right, well actually, I mean, their medic died too, and now two kills, wait a second yeah, here, this, this is, is over, just like it, that. Yeah, 2-0 for Amos Nate Wells, 59. Weird. This is such a different team, Terry. I uh, yeah. This is such a different I, team. You know, I'm I'm glad I was bringing up the fact that this was their map pick because again, the team that we saw play on Clearcut and the team that we're witnessing right now on Viaduct are completely different, night and day. I mean, I just feel like their coordination is better. Um, I'd say the only thing that they're still kind of not doing well is protecting BPL, but I mean, it's caught. You just your medic yeah. is permanently in the sad zone anyway. Um, but let me update the score. BBL board real and Challenger quick. are dying quite a f bit more often than I would like. But like you said, this this is Koth, and this is the condensed version of Koth. Yeah. So I, that's going to happen. 
was gonna say, I think that speaks a little bit more to how Amos are playing on this map, right? Because, like, your demo and your medic are still dying a decent amount, like, clear-cut, but it, the scoreboard is completely flipped. You're up 2-0 now. I mean, with no, like, there was no cheese either, right? Like, I was predicting maybe, like, a sniper or some just gremlin shit, and that hasn't been the case. It's just been very, very solid fundamentals from uh, from Amos's side. The huge plays from their soldier, uh, huge plays from their demo. I'm gonna go peek at the logs. I almost typed exclamation log, but that is not how that works in STV. But it is in our chat. Nighthawk Thank you, Nighthawk it. Beast. Um, okay, Challenger, uh, 480 DPM. Uh, so he That's is. That's what we want to see. He's 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 you know he he watched Dennis's performance on uh, Clearcut and he said hold hold this and then he he drops 480. He right. died five times actually, so he didn't this even looks die like a lot, reversal. dude. This yeah. Is a complete reversal, frankly. 21 and five. Challenger just absolutely popping off right now. Uh, DT also doing a very very solid 350 damage per minute. Uh, second most in the server, the only only second to his demo, and those two are the only players that have broken 300, although Whale Mart is close. So Whale Mart having a very, very good game after, I mean, for the lack of a better word, struggling to put up good numbers on clear cut. Um, but he is popping off. We have Denisovic readying up his side, and uh, whoops, our scout has to fix, fix his internet. Oh yeah, has it been climbing? Oh, it's, it's it... 150 now. So it wow. has been methodically climbing. I guess over the course of the night. I mean, there was a reason you didn't want to look at him. We got some, we got some uh, gamers in the chat. Hello, Mike, Matt. Hello, Dets. Challenger apparently is killing people before they can leave the ground. Yeah, he is. He is putting on a show for us right now. So no doubt, I'll be watching him at the start of the next mid. I mean, I feel like we've been seeing just contributions from everybody. Uh, like, the soldiers have been going for dumb market gardener kills, the demos have been hitting crazy stickies and pipes. I guess the medics are the only ones not doing anything spectacular, but hey, you're playing medic on King of the Hill, when do you get the I opportunity mean, to do that? BBL managed to get a head frag. That's true, he did He did get the medic on medic uh, crime kill with the solemn vow. I feel like whenever you're a medic and you kill the other medic, that should count for at least like five frags on the logs.tf. It's only fair, right? Yeah, um, of course. The Matt medics are playing video games with again. tears. That's just so <laughs> true. Um, yeah, medic not dying on uh, product is very is pretty amazing. Yeah, I mean, again, deaths is one of those things, especially. Uh, it's especially true on medic, and then double, especially true on King of the Hill, where it's all situational. Um, so you could be looking at a medic that dies like maybe 15 times and the other medic only dies five but over the course of a king of the hill map that the, the ubers are going to be dead even like because when you have the point on king of the hill you're not pushing you're just wasting time you're draining the clock um as opposed to having uber advantage on 5 cp where you're trying to push the issue and just constantly move forward um so i mean we're just waiting for a dot wet to fix the internet had been struggling with having triple digit ping so that is obviously not fun to play with nor is it fun to play against um, and we should know considering it seemed that every week we played against a soldier that was lagging out of their minds um, but oh that's just called the roamer class terry it's a feature now i'll start yeah, doing that yeah, uh, yeah. next week you're right you're right you're right is whalemar allowed to snipe the answer is no apparently this dude is probably a highlander sniper and so he is banned from sniping class restriction Dotwet has joined the game. Hopefully, his internet will be better now. But frankly, let's be honest, Whale has done so, so, so much on Soldier. Yeah. I wouldn't want him on Sniper at this point. C -c -c Class restricted. Oh, he's Invite Highlander? Holy shit. I did not know we were in the presence of an Invite Highlander player. But here we go. He is back. Dotwet's ping is looking a little bit better. 90, certainly not optimal, but at least better than 140, or whatever it was earlier. So... I mean, Amos are in the driver's seat to force it to a third map. Uh, do we remember what it is off the top of our heads? Because I, I believe it's don't. Snake Water. I believe. Let me, let me confirm. Let me take a, yeah, let me take a peek. Snake Water. Oh, okay, Snake Water would be our third map. So, as it stands right now, we're headed towards Snake Water because I feel like Challenger is just simply not missing, and uh, despite the best efforts of Bingo Knight getting kills on BBL, seemingly. At, on a on a whim whenever they want they aren't able to just 
they aren't able to get through that huge damage wall that is the blue demo man right now. Uh, and also Whalemart. Again, cannot overstate how well he's been playing on Viaduct as well. RGL unfairly nerfing sniper main says the sniper main. Jets TF. Oh, how the turntables on you Highlander players. But uh, I don't know what we're waiting for. Oh, maybe uh, looks like Freddy Freaker is AFK. So let's uh, let's let's have a little bet in chat for the rest of Viaduct. How many times am I gonna say or try to say Amos and friends when I just mean to say Amos? Because I've done that well, at least five times so far. We'll tonight. change that out. But we'll change that requirement out and just say for the rest of the night. All right. It's, it's been a running thing for the whole night. I, I expect to keep going, Terry. I'm sorry. I'm gonna I'm gonna say I say it at least seven more times. Nah, that's my that's my prediction on my own I'll, self. I'm going to give you a solid five. Okay. I'm Ban give you a all solid snipers. Five. What if we just like took the sniper class and just and replaced it, it with empty air? That'd be pretty cool, I think. Um, but. Well, I mean, then you wouldn't have to. Uh... Oh, then I wouldn't have Kill to talk him. about it anymore because we are going to go live with the second half. So once again, Amos Nate Wales 59 are in complete control right now, two to nothing. Uh, hello, Challenger. What will you do this mid? You're rolling out Cliff. You're. Uh, I don't know what Demo Man's speed on this map looks like, but oh, he looks like he's okay and uh, just firing off some early stickies. And oh, Craig, Craig is, down wow. immediately. Freddy Freaker. I didn't even. Where did he go from? And then Cube dies too. Can they protect their medic though? Tulkus goes down. Nope. No, Puka. Uh, the Puka Bomb. As we see Dennis. Oh, Dennis gets uh, a soldier kill as well. So a little bit of a uh, extra credit there from Bingo Knight's side. And uh, we're going to see blue team cap it right up. Oh, they're going to wait. Even though it doesn't affect the first spawn. Aha! -ha! Mac is saying, we've had people complain we don't sni uh, nerf sniper mains enough. So, I feel like if you just ban Sniper, then you wouldn't have those problems. Uh, Tulkus going to be the first death to, I think it was a Sticky Trap slash Scattergun combination. Um, as we're seeing, oh, well, DT going down, Frag's kind of being traded left and right, single soldier bomb by his lonesome, Whalemart's going to go down, trying to, I guess, recapture some of that success in the first half. Not not so lucky this time. Dotwet trying to pressure Denisovich, but he eats a fat direct to the face, and so now the rest of Blue's just going to have to fall back. They're going to be without their spawns for another five seconds or so here. Is Dennis going to elect to push the issue? Uh, they do actually also have add, so... You know, the last time I said was Blue, or I tried to say if Blue would be careful, uh, they're actually just getting aggressed on right now. Oh, but Dennis gets dropped in his Uber. Craig not, uh -oh, not protecting his demo. Yet. And he just got it. He's in spawn, and he's too. Getting out. So what a sequence of events. Wow. Make that three kills for Amos. That's, ooh, that is, that is bad. That is you. not a good luck when you lose three people and get nothing in return. Puka's in and dead. <laughs> and it had to happen sometime. You, you use Uber, you dropped your demo, and then you lost three other players, so that is that is not good. Uh, we will get an opportunity to see the Bingo Knight sack wave here, because they are staring at full disad unless they decide to take a slow and steady push. It looks uh. like they're going to be pushing on this. Yeah, okay, all right. We're going to see how Blue elects to react to this then. Puka just taking position by China. Oh, and Cube is dead. Someone dies to that trap for like the eighth time in a row. When will they learn, Creation? When will they learn? Now we will definitely... Oh, oh, Challenger gets dropped. Oh, now now this is BBL returning the favor, and now it's Blue Team with a disastrous sequence of events, losing their demo, having a really bad Uber, losing <laughs> their medic BBL. as well. Dotwet and Whalemart do convert for two kills, so at least that's something, as Whalemart tried to go for the the market gardener but he was not able to convert it and uh man puka never had a chance there i guess but there it is the second time of the night where they waited let's go we love teams and players that are learning and adapting but i mean again tall order ahead for bingo night esports they still have two minutes left to go uh they do have very, very big advantage. Here come the sack waves and challenger. Oh! And whale. I was Whale's watching the wrong player again. Whale. You just have to watch whale. 
It's, uh, if I they're can't sacking, not watch him. if they're sacking, you have to watch Challenger or Whale, and I was watching neither of them, and he just continues to put on his best Jay Hyunpei impression down in the depths of I am. He's saying, I'm the J of this division. He's gotten at least like four Market Gardener kills, if I'm not mistaken. I could have peeked at the logs at halftime, but I didn't. But I'm going to predict it anyway, because that's just how we roll here at Blanc TV. Uh, I mean, full Uber charge advantage now for Blue. They're just going to waddle their way in. Actually, no, they're going to bomb Challenger. What is he going to get? Uh, looks like Ooh. nothing. Uh, and in this fact, isn't looking so great. Ooh, oh, and then Whalemart with his another Market Gardener kill. Uh, BBL all by his... Uh, excuse me. <laughs> well, he tried. <laughs> An attempt was made, Terry. Now, did you see what happened to Puka, dude? <laughs> He, BBL, him. BBL walked up behind him on his own team's China. Puka turned around, shot a rocket, and just killed himself. <laughs> um, Welcome so. to uh, gunboats not applying <laughs> when you hit someone. All right, so the worst of both worlds. After all of that, Blue will cap it up, but at what cost? Challenger at five health. He's not. He's gonna try and slither away, yep, but yeah, Cubes gone. is gonna say no, no sa. You don't get to escape. And uh, now Craig, a full this Uber. Is They've this evened out the time. So yeah, far. yeah, they've caught up in the time department, and they have Uber advantage, so, uh, I mean, you know what time this it is, right? This is the right? first time they've actually had the full full set of advantages on red. This you know what time it is. It's map. a sack wave, right? It's surely got to be a sack wave. Whale mark? It has to be. They're, they're Let's gearing get this up whale for it. Cam. I'm fine in the whale mark cam. Whale they're cam they're discussing it in Mumble or Discord. They're saying, all right, time to go, and he's in. He's flying in on the left side. He's going for the market gardener, and he oh, doesn't and he hit it. Oh, hits the cliff. Yeah. Oh, but the pipe from Challenger does get the force out, and actually Challenger might have enough health to bomb away. Yeah, he's going to be okay. Uh, and actually, look at this. They only lost... Okay, they lost JT just now, but I was about to say it was only a one-player force, essentially. Um, so now... I mean, the thing is, though, 12 seconds left. So Blue need to get right back into this uh, soon. Otherwise, all of that, all of those heroics will be for naught. Um, and here we go, the Double Scout Uber off of Cliff. They actually lose Whalemark to start, and it doesn't look like they're getting much else. The scouts have kind of split up, and they're just shooting different things. DT trying to kill Denisovich, and he's not going to get it. Challenger dies as well, so this is a disastrous uh, Uber out of Blue team here. Oh, no. The red, they went ahead and capped. Yeah, the red Freddy cavalry and is back. Is so hurt. Freddy this has is... to do an Omega bomb here. Uh -oh. He gets one, and then he gets air piped, and now BBL <laughs> trying to get a melee uh -oh. kill, and no can Mad do. respect to Whale, though. He took out Dennis with his last breath. All right, we actually see a one-round conversion. Yeah, so, so Bingo Knight is... clawing their way back. They're saying, hold on now, Terry. Hold on now, Crazy. We're not done yet here. I'm going to go find the Talkus King. I haven't really watched him yet, probably just because of his name. But he'll hear me uh, complain name. about it in the VOD, in the YouTube <laughs> upload. He's just going to eat some damage up on his own cap or cliff. Again, both teams have elected to play it very, very passive, besides Puka bombing. And now the other Blue Soldier following suit. Whale Mart not able to get anything. Uh, I mean... This time, Blue has point control, uh, and actually, yeah, DT picks off Dennis. He's healthy enough. He's going to try and help Ooh. kill the soldier. Yes, they get Puka as Craig well. Yeah, Craig and Cube that's just it. have to run away, and that's going to be a mid-win for Amos here. All right, uh, both medics did stay alive, though, so if you're on Bingo Night Esports, you're just looking for a trade opportunity. Hopefully you just don't get owned by Challenger, who is setting up shop on Cliff once again. Um, yeah, this so. sword hold is just happening again. Mm -hmm. Taco's trying to get that pyro love out there, but uh, it, it's, it's working. It is doing its job. Okay, here comes the pyro, but he actually does and get cleaned up. Oh, they do use Uber. Um, BBL oh. responds with his own, but look at this 6 4 situation. Bingo and I just have milk. to run away. And now, I mean, like, Blue can set up this forward hold once again and continue to milk more time off the clock. I'm pretty sure Challenger is still just sitting on Cliff, yeah. So, this is a really, really solid, um... Solid forward hole here. We already got a minute shoot off the clock and counting because I don't expect Red... Well, Red's going to try and bust. Here we go with the Pyro once again. But, I mean, look at this. Blue's just doing a really, really great job. Actually, no, the Red Soldiers have... Nope, they're all dead. <laughs> they oh, are all dead. Oh, my goodness. This wow. is a four-man stuff again. And Freddy's just in on Craig. Oh, there goes Cha Craig. <gasps> oh there no! Goes oh no! Challenger—he's spawn camping. He gets the kill on Q. Oh, he's just gonna run oh. away now. He's not gonna get too greedy. 
And actually, yeah, they this did is, lose two, so... And this is Amos saying, that, you know, we see you guys. We we hear you. Man, that was, uh, that was a forward oh, hold wow. of all forward holds. They took a minute and 30 and more. And BBL has Uber. Like, yeah. This is just... This is just the and more coming right now. Yep, Taco, Taco Cat dying as well. Oh Craig no! Another one kills the collapse. Craig is gone. Is Dennis this? the only survivor, that, and he's barely out. I oh my goodness, Christian! This wow. this round, they're just setting up the forward hold again. They don't even have their second soldier, and they just don't care. They're they are in. They are looking to shut down. They're going for a perfect round here on Viaduct in playoffs, Christian, against the number one seed. They're they're just they're just playing out of their minds right now. Here comes the pyro, so I'm gonna watch yep. Taco Cat. Uh, he's missed one reflect, and, and he's, he's dead. Down. So uh, the pyro, they need some work here in that class. Oh, uh, they do kill Dot with though, so uh, that's a lead a little bit of consolation. And Puka actually kills off Freddy Freaker as well. So a three for three trade, but again, yeah, just but, 25 uh, seconds left for just, for Blue. Wow, Craig finally has an Uber advantage that they can work off of, but. Uh... It's not a pretty one. This has not been a pretty fight for them. Yeah, and they also do have add, and then Taco Cat just Taco's runs wrong. into a damage wall. DT wow, a little bit. DT has put so much damage on Craig. What? Oh my God, War crimes, and he's alive. Uh, I think Challenger's gonna go down. Oh, never mind. The wall ate his rocket. He does oh! go down. BBL takes out Tolkis. Ooh. Dennis is no health on the point. And well. And I think we wow. will get the cap down if you are on bingo. They prevented, they Wait. prevented the perfect... Uh-oh. Freddy? Okay, no. Cube comes in with heals and he's just okay. going to clean up. So finally... They the perfect round, Yeah, they stopped the perfect oh. round. But oh my goodness, they are... And here comes Blue. Dominating they're already position. They're fighting. Now. Yeah, they, they're like, hey, we want to go up. Match point here. Here comes this Uber. What are they going to get with it? DT picks up the, the soldier. He's going right on top of this medic. Craig's down to solo health. Pistol! Oh, his scout partner comes oh, in. Challenger hits him with gone. the sticky, actually. Although they do lose BBL immediately. But remember... And Cube's gone, and there's... Everyone on red is so hurt. Remember, blue just has to cap. That's all they need, is to cap, yep. and then this round is over. So but they're just... They're they're rubbing it in their face, hysteria. They're just uh, well, killing I mean, everybody. They're just looking for frags. Puka trying to bomb in late. He's just going to get chewed up by Dot Wet. And there we and go. Oh wow. my goodness. I mean, what Bingo got a minute or 45 seconds, but yeah, that was not close That was at such all. a dominating round. That wasn't That wasn't a round, Terry. That was just that was a slaughter. All righty. So, this is Amos and Nate Wales 59 saying match point. They're they're putting the other team in check right now and uh, looking to set up for another good mid here. I'm watching Cube right now as he dances around his rock. Once Whoa, again, a little Luka's bit- in, but gone. Yeah, early soldiers. Well, they're gonna trade, although Freddy does kill off Taco Cat. It's 2v2, or 4v4 uh, with better positioning on blue Focus team. so hurt, oh. and they clean him up. I feel like the blue scouts are just heating up right now. They're just picking up frags whenever they want to. Uh, so aggressive is Dot went up on Cliff, but he got to, he has to be careful. If he gets caught, that could be a player disadvantage for his team, with Whalemark still in the respawn queue. Um, but luckily, he's managed to slither his way back to heals. Uh, Red does have Uber, so... Soldiers are aggressing again. Puka's very hurt. But they trade out Whale for Puka, and that's... that's fine. All right, and we have the Uber trade out. Uh, it was a DT solo. Well, up until this flash for uh, for Challenger here. Oh well, but then and it's Challenger, just gone. Challenger. Oh, Tolkas wow. on sniper. He's trying this yeah, for real this time, but he's just gonna die. He's, he's gone. And uh, That's I just feel like murder. I feel like they're just gonna we're, cap this, and then they're gonna forward hold again. And yeah, look we're at witnessing this. a murder, Terry. This is, <laughs> Hello. This yes, I would like to report a crime because uh, right now Amos <laughs> are taking this map and running away with it. They are setting up the forward hold once again. Challenger on cliff, the soldiers on left side, and uh, Dot went very, very aggressive in the main tunnel. Uh, but right now, oh, here comes the pyro. Gets the reflect this time. So as far as the first breakthrough, it does get oh. a little bit better. Uh, and actually, they're going to kill BBL. Oh, BBL goes down. So that's a huge uh, mistake there from Amos. They're actually going to lose four. They're going to try and sell out for the medic. And, oh, DT oh, does wow. get it with his last dying breath. He hit the scattergun shot to convert the medic pick. Beast, says Whale Mart. <laughs> and, yeah, Tulkus electing to respawn up on Sniper now as his team caps up the point. So, uh, that salvage from DT there means we are staring at an Uber, uh, even Uber situation. Tulkus is posted up on his team's China. 
I want to see the Tokus camp, Jerry. I think. Yeah, I'm, I'm I think we can see him. him if he's got it. He's got to hit some shots. Yeah. You can see Whale jiggling. <laughs> with the, uh, he's ready. All right, Tulkus has fired his first shot. Looking for the medic, hits a body shot in. That's going to be 50 damage. Now he's going to be A-OK. -okay. Will BBL. But now Challenger is in a sight line. Tulkus needs to hit a shot, needs to hit and stuff Will to make Martin. it worth. There we go. Will's down. And actually, Challenger died as well. So this is a really good situation here for a uh, red team, although they are going to lose yep. three of their own. Oh my god, and that rocket from Freddy Freaker. Oof. He's hitting some spooky rockets. And at the end of the day, as the dust settles... Bingo Knight are going to recapture the midpoint, or the only point, uh, but it is dead even again. Talkus electing to stay up on Sniper. He's waddling out main this time around. The elusive angry shake that snipers do when they miss a shot. Yeah, we have a couple of sniper mains in chat. They can confirm. Ooh, what is this Uber? Uh, it's not the greatest out of blue. Uh, and in fact, here comes no, the... No, but it did force. Yeah, yeah but there goes I Challenger mean... immediately, just out of the Uber. Yeah, and they're going deep for these just... picks. They got, four... they got oh. BBL again. So, wow. oh, well, DT, is so hurt. DT does manage to uh, pluck Denisovich away from the Realm of the Living, at least for the next five seconds. Um, well, wow, actually, that respawn is pretty fast, considering they have the point. Uh, I'm a little he, bit surprised He managed the short round. Oh. He managed the short wave. So there you go. I mean... Uh, this is a pretty, pretty good round that's shaping up right now for Bingo Night Esports. They are in control. They have 30 second advantage. They have a sniper. They have uber advantage as well. So a lot of, uh, a lot of cards in their favor as the soldier flies in. Whale Mart. And it's already gone. That's the thing. I don't know about, about 6k right now. I, I don't, I don't know about Amos, like, going in. I'm not Amos. Yeah, Amos throwing Whale Mart just yeah. by his lonesome in. Uh, uh, you're just kind of putting a lot on his shoulders to do solo on this map. Craig, um, what a sir. Craig with a nice serve. Oh, no. Craig still dies to Freddy Freaker, so he's still doing things. I think Craig would have died to the crater there anyway, but uh, style points. Yeah, cube on an 8k there. Meanwhile, DT picked up three to help secure his team the uh, the cap. Um, and with, well, with Craig having gone down, now this is BBL with 95%. They won't be able to set up a forward hold this time. Will Amos, but uh, they can look to take an aggressive they, oh. Uber. Tolkis, Craig, Puka all hit with a good pipe. Yeah, I mean That's Challenger. Painful. Looks like look at this. DT wants to go right into them, and here we go. They're walking forward. They actually lose two, so they have to get something with this Uber to make it worthwhile. They do and get him Challenger. Craig and Challenger gets the demo and the medic and make it with a soldier as well. He piped a scout as well. Cube is on a 10k. This man has not died. What is going on? Now it's just Freddy Freaker and he is not long for this world. 60 health against three players. He gets chewed there apart by Taco Cat. And, uh, you know, there's, wow. there's a little bit of life here. There's a little bit of life here from Bingo Night Esports. It is going to be pretty much another scrappy fight. They only have 15 seconds left, so, uh... They are looking to at least claw another round back on the board for now, but I'm just going to watch Q. Did hit nothing? I probably. Pistol's a bad weapon. Yeah, um, it's such a bad weapon. I feel so bad for him. The little water gun. Oh, but Whale Mart lands right on top of Craig and he kills him. Cube now on 12 kills before oh, no. his next death, and he's going to three-shot yep. that scout down. And wow. yeah, they did not get on the cap. Okay. So despite we're, we're the kill... The half. Despite the kill coming out early on the side of blue they just for they whether they forgot or they could not doesn't really matter they didn't get on the point and as a result bingo knight takes that and they're 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 climbing their way back into this one yeah we have signs of life terry this is a uh, shaping up to be a much better game so this will be this next mid is going to be huge of course uh you know, Amos, on the side of Amos, they're looking to re-solidify themselves because uh, that forward hold round was... That could have been soul-crushing. Um, but obviously, Bingo Knight showing their mental fortitude, just sticking with it and saying, you know what? Yeah, that round happened, but now we're on to the next one. And uh, they performed quite admirably and, you know, forced this second half to come to a close. So now we have that awkward third half situation because uh, if Amos wins one more round, then this map is over. But if... Uh, if Tulkus and friends win the half, so to speak, then this map and this series will be over. Uh, so, you know, we might get Snake Water, we might not. It's really, it's really, really hard to say right now. Uh, Cube deserves to be number one. Yeah. What are his stats looking like? Because I feel like this, this dude just he 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 woke up uh, on the second half of Viaduct. 
Uh, yeah. Uh, I'll. How does the tune of a uh, twenty-five and twelve sound, Crazy, for your scout man? Especially when he had like twelve of those kills in one single life. <laughs> you know that sounds a, a lot like scout on Viaduct, Terry. Mm -hmm. But you also failed to mention the fact that he's dropping basically three hundred DPM, second most on his team. Oh yeah, like, three hundred. Uh, that's pretty good. Denisovich, four hundred and eleven. Well. That's also pretty good. Challenger. A little bit, uh, I guess, more pedestrian showing, more average, more human-like yeah, this I time think, around. I think um, he's uh, starting to slow down a little bit, and that might be part of the problem. You know, the going other thing, from though? dominating to uh, kind of uh, slow takes on this game. The other thing, though, um, kind of the opposite of clear cut. Actually, actually, it is the exact opposite of clear cut. Uh, Bingo have lost every single mid on this map, whereas Amos lost every single mid on clear cut. So. Uh, once again, I mean, these teams, these teams each have a Koth figured out compared to the other in terms of the mid fights. But man, it is it has just been nonstop action. You love to see playoffs, and you love to see King of the Hill in playoffs because you know that's when uh, all all the marbles are on the line. Actually, oh yeah, I want to look up how many Mark and Gardner kills. Uh, well, let's say. Wellmart had three in that second half. Um, and Puka yeah. had zero, Talkas had zero, Everyone and Freddy had zero. Fail. What about the first half? Uh, I'm finding that one out right now. Whalemart had two in the first half, none for Freddy, one for uh, Talkas, and zero for Puka. So, I mean, Actually, he's... I think for Talkas, that was technically two, but, you know, one of them's... No, no, never mind, never mind. Oh, if it was like the, the, uh, yeah. the, finish the finished off. The finished off, thing. but yeah, if yeah. that was from a rocket. I understand, I understand that. So, now we have the elusive second halftime. Uh, teams are just going over, you know, going over some of their strats, talking over some things, going to the bathroom, filling their water, washing their hands, etc., etc. Yeah. It is 12 o'clock, yeah, you're right. On the East Coast, that is, so... Uh, if we have a third map, that will be exciting, but also... Oh, no. <laughs> hey, guys, it's tomorrow. <laughs> This is factual. We do have 46 viewers in the chat, so shoutouts to everybody here tuning in for IM quarterfinals. Winner of this goes to the final four. Um, they will play the winner of, well, the other two teams that I forgot to look up go before to bed, we went Zander. live. Jesus. Yeah, if you're tired, go to bed, Xanda. It's not like I've been t trying to get you to have good sleeping habits for the last, I don't know, three seasons or anything, but. Uh, let me take a look at the bracket right now, actually, because I know this 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 match that's happening is on the opposite side of yeah. uh, the other two games that had already finished. The other two games finished via seeding, so uh, Dickerson World and My Hentai List, the number two and three seeds, oh boy. took their uh, their games. All right, so, so I'm looking that's at the name, all right? Yeah, I'm looking at I am uh, I am playoffs right now. Uh, winner of this game right here that we've been watching, they will play the winner of either Zion or Fresh Installs Wacky Pudis. So there we one, go. <laughs> one of name. those, one of those teams, one of those winners will face the winner from here, um, and then those that winner will go on to grands. So. Terry like always wants that. me to stay up and watch TF2 matches. Bruh. I, that doesn't sound factual. Considering the words that I uttered about a minute ago, telling you to go to bed if you're tired, I feel like this is a little bit hard to believe for the general public. But, uh, again, I don't really know the IM landscape, so we have a couple of people in chat there making their predictions. Some people are still sticking by Bingo 90 Sports. Again, the number one seed. Uh, all the pressure, so to speak, is on them, because... You know, they're the favorite, the betting favorite, the odds-on favorite. Um, but, again, we still have a couple more teams in the running. And, uh, you know, it's looking to shape up to be a fantastic finish for not just IM, but pretty much all the playoffs. I personally will like to would like this time to uh, share if any of you have met our Lord and Savior Sweaty Spaghetti, because they are 22-0 in their RGL career after two seasons, and they simply do not know what it's like to lose. Uh, they went 8-0 and in Newcomer last season, and then a flawless 4-0 in playoffs, and they're doing the same thing this season in Amateur. They went 8-0, and number one seed, and now they're currently 2-0 in playoffs. So, Sweaty Spaghetti, 
You heard it here first. Those guys are popping off. But so are we as we get started with the elusive third half here between Bingo Night Esports LLC and Amos Nate Wales 59. Uh, give me the cube cam. I found him. Took me a couple of years, go. but I found him. <laughs> Cube's just kind of playing up the normal scout role, but uh, I'm watching Whale go sailing in on the Craig, who manages, oh no, Craig barely manages to survive that, but Again? they trade Whale for Dennis and Tolkis and Puka. Okay. So, uh, well then. I was about to say, I just don't know how I feel about throwing Whalemar by, his, by himself into the other team, but it, well, I guess it I just works tell, out. Though. It, uh, he went off a damage call because he waited. Mm, okay. And then Craig gets hurt for 70. He jumps Craig. Doesn't kill him, but pulls him out of the fight, and then his team dies. All right, here comes this forward hold attempt, and then the pyro uh, counter. And it's actually well, looking pretty good for a red team because you got two yep, picks. there's the force as well. Oh, wow, yeah. Uh, and Craig on the elusive 99, but uh, he's got it now. He'll be okay. He'll be okay. He's gonna just walk back into the in through the shutter door. Uh, meanwhile, BBL has to cancel the forward hold because they did use and they don't have any, uh, all of their players there. Taco Cat's still on the pyro. Well, so whale is Ooh. Bomb, Craig and oh, it's uh, Freddy. Freddy. So nice okay, bomb from well, him. Hey. They basically popped Uber in their spawn. Puka behind yeah. enemy lines. He's gonna get cleaned up by Dot Wet and. Uh, well, Craig and his scout are still pushing aggressively. That's Cube. They're going to turn their attention back to the point now. A minute off the clock for Amos Nate Wales. Uh, but it looks like they're waltzing right back in. Look at this. No fear whatsoever. Dotwet's going to go down, though. Might be time for a little bit of fear. Although... Oh, wait. That wasn't even... That was just the regular... Yeah. He hits him with the LOL. Cube goes down. Although, again, we've wow. seen this story before. Yep, that was about to say. We've seen this story before. One medic goes down, and the other team just says, fuck it, go deep, and then they kill the other team's medic. In fact, well, the red team wiped for it. Um, yep. And they also, blue team delayed their medic spawn, but we'll see if that happens. I mean, it's already happened, but, you know, the effect, I don't, I don't know if it's going to be that big of an effect, but we'll see. Red is trying to figure out what they're going to do. Looks yeah. like they're looking for the forward hold breaker, but uh, there's no forward hold. Yeah, Wellmar was just by himself on the top deep left, and he trades out with uh, Cube. So I guess that's okay if you're on blue, but now Dotwet being pressured very heavily on the left side. Uh, and now, again, look at this. Red has four players pretty much on the point. Ooh, but now here comes the Freddy so Bomb. Hurt. He's going right on top of the Medic. He's going to hit one rocket. And actually, well, Craig does crater. So Dotwet... And look... Cubes on my um, oh no, heavy, he's bringing yeah. it back. I don't know about this one. Heavy when you don't have the point is just so bizarre and awkward because you don't have. Well, right now you don't have heals, but actually look at this. Blue team just kind of ran away. They had no scouts, and they're like, all right, you know what? You can take the point. We have a significant time lead, and uh, I believe that is the correct play. Too. Yeah. Uh, so all bingo 60, night. But still. Now, now we'll see if the the Pudis can pay dividends here because he's going to be like 400, 450. Um, Although, again, he is just kind of a sitting duck for the Uber out of blue team, so uh, we'll be interested to see what happens very, very soon. Oh, never mind. We're going to find out right now. DT walks forward. It looks like he and his uh, Devilman are shooting different things. Yeah, they were shooting different things. Cube uh, goes down, but I mean... BBL is dead. And... Yeah, and actually... But, but... Well... There goes Red. Red is just gone. They're, they're all dead. Huh. Okay. Well... Uh, that was... BBL was going to spawn too. They let him spawn. That was there just a uh, that was just a classic case of uh, the split Uber, where one player decides to go one way and the other player goes the other way. And uh, I guess lucky for Amos Nate Wales fifty nine, it worked out for them. Um, yeah, their flank is winning their fights when this is happening. And they do have a sliver of advantage here as well. And again, 30 seconds left from forcing it to map number three. So you know bingo, you know, they're a little bit anxious now. And Taco Cat going down is not a good start for them. Now Whale Mart potentially has a little bit more freedom to bomb. There goes Freddy. Maybe, no, he's not going to follow up. He's actually just going to patrol corridor, uh, or concrete rather, and then cube going and down as cube. well. So... These, this is a not a good time to be down, down scouts. Scout. Yeah, this is a really bad time to be down scouts with 10 seconds left. BBL has 75, 80% Uber. Here comes the soldier flying in. He gets chewed apart by Dotwet. And Denisovich goes down as well, so no demo. I think we could be looking at all she wrote here. And wow. there we go. Five players down. The Uber that's, comes that's out. It. Just Cube, Cube left alive. 
He Can has to try and go to, to the point, but I mean, I don't know what he's going to do. There's, he's just going to get piped by Challenger, yeah. and ladies and gentlemen... That's a convincing 4-2. That is a close out. The knockout punch there from Amos Nate Wales. We are going to go see a map number three. That, again, we, we mentioned it after the first half, but that just felt like watching... A totally different team come out for Amos. They did so much, almost every single push, even pushes that looked like they were going really badly. They managed to salvage, whether it was Whale doing something insane or Challenger and DT just walking at people. It uh, it really looked like a totally different game. Yeah, I mean. They just they just won mids and then they had really really strong forward holds for the most part. I think they only really had one that was considered like bad. You know when they like lost four players and used Uber, um, but their mids were really really good. Their the, the solo bombs from Whale Mart were just working out, which was very surprising to me. Um, but as it stands, they got the job done on their map pick, and now we are headed to the, the all-important map number three, the tiebreaker. We got Snake Water coming up. Um, I believe I checked the history of these teams before, and they didn't play each other at all during regular season, so I really have no idea what to expect. Um, but considering Snake Water was a Week 8 map, it you know th this is very very fresh on both teams minds here so as we're waiting for the broadcast to start as we're waiting for the players to file in i'm going to take this opportunity to go stretch a little bit get some more water and i'll be right back absolutely and while you're gone uh we're currently looking at two teams that have essentially easily clinched their picks so when this one comes down to bans, we'll see. Uh, Bingo's track record on 5CP is a lot better than Amos's, but after seeing the coordination and the fragging power that Amos really had uh, going out of Viaduct, they can absolutely carry that momentum into this. And wow, we can absolutely see... There's a potential for an upset here, especially after that kind of game. It's a, what we call a heartbreaker. But we have gamers joining back in, and uh, now we play the waiting game for BBL to join up on Blue, and hopefully we'll be going live pretty quickly after they set up the Archon Exec. Alright, I am back. Just gotta get those configs going. And, uh... Yeah, Terry, I think we are looking at the potential... No matter how slight, we are looking at a potential for an upset here. Yeah, of course. Uh, the fact that they are here obviously means that they have put in the work. I mean... In terms of the momentum, Bingo is a little bit reeling because, again, the Viaduct, it was just night and day from what they were able to do on clear-cut. Basically, what Bingo Knight did to Amos on clear cut, Amos kindly returned the favor on Viaduct. Um, obviously, Bingo got an extra round. It was four to two instead of four to one, but still, I feel like that one, the one round where they forward held for like a minute, no, two minutes. Yeah, that was, was just that was just like a backbreaker right there. So um, we're gonna see how it all shakes up. Now we'll have a little bit of a, a little bit of a breather in terms of the commentary when it comes to five CP. Um, I wonder if the fact that they have played, you know, what is it, close to two hours of King of the Hill, if they're going to have the Oonga Boonga, me walk forward, go for kills lodged in their brain for a little bit, and we'll see if, uh, see, we'll see if teams get spicy here. That's, that's kind of what I'm betting on, uh, but as I had mentioned, it's, there's, there were just so many pushes and just probing questions that Amos delivered in Viaduct. Mm -hmm. that just could not be answered. Um, while the scoreline was a lot cleaner for Bingo on clear cut, I think the Viaduct performance was better than the clear cut performance from Amos. Yeah. I, I, the, the losing team on uh, Viaduct looked better than the losing team on clear cut, that is for sure. But... Uh... 
We're gonna be hopefully getting started soon, cause uh, you know we are headed deep into the night. I want to actually check on the game that Eckstein was casting. Ek our good old pal Eckstein, he was casting uh, main playoffs because that team is almost headed to their conclusion as well. I think it was uh... no, not Seven Gall, because I think Seven Gall lost the other day. So... Yeah, you're thinking of Watsis and Wales. Oh yeah, obese Wales. That's right. So, yep. is he still streaming? Let me see. No, they haven't submitted their scores yet, so he might be. Let me just peek on TFTV, and yeah, he's he's still live. So I'm assuming that map is oh that series is also going the distance. Here, I'll go ahead and get our uh, results from them real quick while you're talking here. I'll figure out what the results are on their end. Alrighty, so I mean, I like to I like to put an emphasis on the mental edge of TF2, the mental side of things, the psychological side of things. You got to be mentally tough no matter what you do in life, whether you're a gamer, an athlete an artist, it doesn't really matter, you gotta be focused in, so right now, I feel like it's two different sides of, two different schools of thought, if you're on Bingo Night Esports side, you're looking to, again, reset, you just lost a map pretty, pretty convincingly, so you just wanna focus in on these mid fights on Snakewater, play the, play the pace that you wanna play, and again, it's just a brand new map, uh, one to one in the series, so it all comes down to this, and then on the other hand, if you're, um, if you're Amos Nate Whales, like, just don't get, you know, don't get ahead of yourself. Don't get a don't get a head, a big ego, a big head just off of that Viaduct game because you still have yeah. to you still have to finish the job here. Um, and I mean, if if nothing, we have shown that both these teams can duke it out with each other despite the I guess the record disparity. But we'll have to see if the fact that we are on five CP now kind of throws a wrench into the rhythm of the game so far. And um, like especially the Ubers, I feel like I feel like whichever team kind of has. Uh, more consistent ubers i won't even necessarily say better if they have more consistent ubers i feel like that team's going to come out ahead at least as far as the first half is concerned yeah of course and i've got the results we are looking at a wow the first map went the way of wales three to two on metalworks and that's a <laughs> knockdown drag out fight oh, it went to metalworks. time both halves we are currently on Villa in the first half, where it is 0-0 with 10 minutes left on the clock. Oh my god. Uh, wait, That's an Villa's map number two? Dragger. Yeah. Oh my god. Wow. It's an absolute knuckle dragger right now for that game, and uh, I can imagine that they will probably still be going if uh, Watch This can bring it back. Mm -hmm. They will probably still be going long after we're done here. Yeah, we're, we'll, we'll, if, if this game finishes before theirs, we will definitely hit them with a raid, hit them with a host, or whatever you want to call it. But in the meantime, we're still waiting on Cube, who is in the spectator. So, uh, also, <laughs> for, uh, for a shit post, I'm just going to point out, Tulkus changed his name, and uh, he lost the second map. That's all I'm going to say. Well, we it's common knowledge that changing your name in the middle of a match is a good way to uh, lose the next map. True. So, uh, um, but, yeah, I mean, as far as... Oh, actually, you know what? You know, I was talking about consistent Ubers earlier. I'm actually going to take it back. Whichever team <laughs> seems to dominate on the mid, because, uh, clear-cut, every single mid was won by Bingo, and on Viaduct, every single mid was won by Amos, so... I mean... It's whew. a battle of the team mid-fights, is honestly what was happening there, but... 5 CP, that can be especially so, depending on how clean the fights are. Exactly. And like it, if these teams win the mids in the same manner that they did on Clearcut, where their medic lived and the other team died, we might, be, we might be in for a fast one here, if only one team kind of gets their shit together in terms of the I'm, mids. I'll be honest, I'm ready for the Battle of the Curb Stomps. Yeah. Like, we're just, uh, killing some more time as Cube's still in the spectator. Not Don't. sure what's going on there, but, uh... Lilith, Lilith Fool got ice cream? Let's go. Nice. D-Cube saying, sorry everyone, I need to finish my Travis Scott burger only at McDonald's. Oh wait, this must be Cube then. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he got his Travis Scott burger, let's go. 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 He's ready. ready. <laughs> Let us get it. Map number three, 
going live shortly between Bingo Night Esports LLC in the red versus Amos Nate Wales 59 in the blue. Map number three. It all comes down to this. Bingo winning map number one, clear cut four to one. Amos with a retaliation win on map number two, Viaduct four to two. And now, now we got Snake Water. Give me a give me a fit check here uh, as a soldier main creation. What do you think about Freddy Freaker's getup? Uh, Freddy's wow well, mushroom antlers hat and uh, I don't know about the you. Winter jacket. Uh, I don't know about you. I I personally hate it when hats clip through like each other. So I'm gonna. I don't um, personally mind it just because I've seen it so 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 often. But uh, I mean you've seen what I carry around here. It's uh, I mean, just a but... hat and that's it. <laughs> Alright, what about Puka? What about Puka? I kind of like what he's got going on here. A little okay, bit French. I can, I can respect the, uh... I don't, I don't the know. Frills? That's a French tank, that's a tanker's helm, but, uh... No, I'm talking about the... The frill? Oh, the, that's a gentleman's. The, the, the shirt. Oh, I don't know. You think I pay attention to, to the cosmetics, dude? Carry. Um, alright. Uh, next soldier, next soldier. We already looked at Freddy. Where is... Oh, Whale Mart's on Sniper, so we can't see his fit until the game goes live. And then Talkus. Now, uh, Talkus got that, uh... <laughs> proof of purchase all fathers, making everybody feel like a boomer. Uh, especially with Yay! an original, so, uh... We'll just call him the boomer boy and get it over with. I was not dissing Puka, actually. I was saying his fit looks nice. I was it, it, to me the shirt with the frills is very French inspiration behind it, and then uh, yeah, and then the, uh, and then Krasian, and then right there, was there. saying he looks very gentlemanly. So I don't think those are disses, uh, not in the world that I know. Um, but I don't know what. Well, now we're waiting on BBL, who maybe he's getting his Travis Scott burger only at McDonald's. <laughs> but um, oh here you go, Terry. What? Have they got a Travis Scott burger? Have you tried the Post Malone fries? I, I ain't touching any links right now, brother. <laughs> I'm, I'm, just, I'm just not about it. Um, <laughs> what I am about is for this match to start, hopefully soon. Um, but we will find out momentarily, or never, in case this just we just sit here and then we have to have Maka come in and he has to say all right what happened and one team's gonna say I was getting my Travis Scott burger and then the other team says yeah but you know what we had to get a Travis Scott burger and the other one said why why didn't you do while we were getting it and then everyone just yells at each other for about 30 minutes before Maka says I hate everyone and then look at this we have to go live there we and go. here we go map number three RGL season four I am quarterfinals I'm watching Denisovich of Bingo Night Esports as he rolls Rolls out to middle here. It all comes down to this. Server time is broken, but I don't really don't really don't know why that happens. But I will fix You'll it have to have to momentarily. Yeah. I will fix it momentarily. As we see Dennis walking up the left lane, he hits Challenger with the first sticky. Quick little uh, aggression from the soldiers. The blue soldiers oh. flying in, and look at the blue aggression. They are across the point, but in fact, it is red with Wobble. the picks, and this just is like, like the curb that. Craig, but he's 44 Craig. health. Oh, he nice. manages to give him the old wiggle, the old ring around the rosy, and uh, well, kind of what I was uh, talking about earlier, Crazen. One team wins mid, they keep their medic alive, the other team doesn't, and uh, we're going to see second go down in short order here. Now I will hit the HUD reload steam, hopefully that will fix everything. There we go. We've got DT already on Engineer, and Dot Wet on Heavy, that's... Uh... They know they gotta dig in here. They they know mm. this is a full Uber ad coming at them. So a lot of the Highlander classes coming out, hoping for this turtle, hoping for this defense. Um, but and here we go. What is the what is the red Uber gonna do? They're gonna walk through the shutter door. Here goes Cube. He's gonna be right on top of uh, the medic BBL on the point. He's actually kind of whiffing. Oh, never mind. Well, Puka kind of comes in and makes up for his scout's misses. Uh, and now he's trying to clean up DT. Although, actually, it is 4v4. And look at this. This push has completely stalled out. And it's going to be, in fact, 6 down for the side of Bingo Night Esports. So that Uber just was not very clean at all. Uh, the saving grace is that BBL did die, uh, keeping things at roughly even, as Craig still has a couple more seconds on his respawn timer. Um, but... 
Man, did you see what exactly happened? Because I was looking at the scout, and then they just, like, weren't really getting kills until late. And then by the time what that happened? happened, their Uber was yeah. over, and they were all dead. They split, they split really heavily, and Whale was standing right inside the drop-down and just kind of stuffed the person at the door and ended up killing Tolkis at the drop-down. Yeah. So he just kind of threw a wrench in all of their plans, and then they started splitting during the Uber, and that just turns out that makes a really bad Uber, Terry. Yes, sir. So as the uh, as the dust settles on an even Uber situation here, I'm gonna find the, the Puka Cam because he's gonna bomb in momentarily. Um, as again, Tolkas was playing more roamer side on Koth just so he could off class if necessary. A nice surf from BBL just jumps way back onto Mats. So the single sack from Puka uh, fails. And actually, the scouts, ooh, a scout duel in lower. Uh, but I don't know if this is going to work out. Wow. Yeah. Taco Cat. Is the kill. Taco Cat actually, yeah, beating or dying to Dot Wet. Yeah, but Dot Wet gets traded out immediately. So we're, we're looking at another stale out, and we're going to see what Retta has to offer. It looks like Puka's already in. Or no, that's Tolkis again. He's going to get out? Oh, and no, nope, he eats no, he the doesn't. trap or the sticky that was waiting for him. Challenger just waiting for the perfect moment to hit Mouse 2 and get the soldier kill. Uh, so... A little bit of a, a little bit of a breather, like we said, like we hoped for on uh, on a 5 CP map. As we see a little bit of poking and prodding. Whalemark did do the counter sack. That's on me. I should have been watching his cam. Um, but now Puka, he failed his Puka's window bomb, out. and he's gonna he got one yeah. rocket off. But That's, again, uh, just not, yeah, but it's just not enough. Happened. Not enough. Looks like uh, Amos is more than happy to just let this stall out while they yeah. wait. Yeah. Especially because, again, they, they lost the mid in a convincing fashion, got pushed all the way right back to last. So right now being on their own two is a, uh, you know, they'll take that. They'll take those as no off classes to speak of for now. So once again, finding the Puka Cam, doing the patented Tolkis HRG. Oh, never mind. But, uh, there was, he he, was he sacking or was he just caught yeah, out for being was, aggressive? That was definitely a sack. Okay. He jumped right into... Uh, BBL and Challenger and almost killed Challenger. Okay, Dot Wet po poking in the kitchen again, but he has he's fighting Cube and a one oh wait, an Uber train. What the Uh oh, Craig. I heard a Kong. Oh I well Kong. I'm hearing a really bad Uber out of blue and yeah, there you go. Freddy there Freaker, BBL, they fall in short order. Uh, they do get Taco Cat, but look at this. Well Wait a minute. Challenger Challenger's trying his best to salvage, but yeah, he's gonna go down here, and that rocket oh, will kill him. There it is. And also, Craig stayed alive, so uh, I don't yeah. know. Amos, I feel like but they just got a little bit too greedy that. with that Uber, um, and then Craig just milked it expertly, and now they're staring at 30, 30 advantage. They have second capped up. They can take their time now. Alrighty, so um, we're just gonna watch. We're gonna watch what the defense is. They have a sniper DT on sniper, so I haven't seen this guy uh, going off class all night until just now. So uh, the soldier that was in cheese spotted him out, so he's got to make his first shot count, and he whips and it. <laughs> it happens. It does happen. Sometimes you just sometimes you just miss, you know, and it sucks. But look at this, he was going so aggressive, and he just surfs it all the way up to the shaft. Wait, oh, I would have laughed if he had killed that soldier. Uh, the heavy goes down, the medic goes down, and oh, no. this, this looks like a Everyone collapse. Everyone on blue ran inside, and they have so much time from... Red has so much time. Yeah, this is going to be around. So. That's what happens when you all run into spawn, though. None of No one was there to contest the point, because all six players were in spawn. Okay, so here we go. Bingo Night Esports taking the first round of the third map here. Um, Tolkis, this is kind of a bizarre rollout. He's not going to have crit heals whatsoever. Um, yeah, looks but like that, it uh, won't affect he wants that market gardener, Terry. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. He isn't even going fast. I'm cringing. But it's okay. He's spamming the right lane. He's just kind of playing it very patient, waiting for a chance to bomb. And here he goes, right on top of that soldier. Hits him with a fat first rocket, but he eats a ton of damage. Yeah, and he's just going to crater. That is a camera curse, ladies and gentlemen. And now Cube's just going to try and make up for it, challenging Whale Mark up top. 
Uh, he kind of gets bullied away, so now blue team with a little bit of the positioning advantage, kind of like last mid. Oh, but then the Puka, Puka bomb destroys. And now Whale Mart trying Craig to salvage. Yeah. Uh, whale, yeah. Whale shot at my five guys. You know. That's that's three burgers and fries on his way out, but he's down. <laughs> that's two mins in a row, creation where. Uh, Amos, they have good positioning on mid, but then I guess just the red aggression just storms right back in, pick up two kills, and just completely change the landscape of the mid fight. Uh, there was some fighting going on, but it looks like it was just teasing around in lobby. Craig is on Crits Krieg. So. You can have amazing positioning, but if you're not getting any kills while the other team is, you just lose. Mm hmm. So with this Critical Krieg switch, they're going to have a very, very significant advantage, even more so. Oh, well, there goes Cube, dying to Challenger Stickies. Um, and now Whale Mart looking to counter bomb, but he's just going to walk right into a soldier and Tulkas. Oh, Tulkas to had, had one HP. HP. That's so unlucky on Whale Mart's uh, ha behalf. He had him down to one HP. DT goes in and dies on Engineer. Interesting. Well, they do have Crits Creek, so that's a free century kill. There's the Dennis, 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 Dennis. Here he goes. Oh, he wow. watches his scout get what destroyed. <gasps> oh, he doesn't get it. He gets the medic. Med BBL backed into the truck and he died. And now, well, it's not actually working out for them because they got three kills. Oh, now it's really just Puka in by himself. He's down to 26 health. Dot wet with the domination sniper shot onto him. So. I mean, the Crits Creek found its target, but the rest of the team just kind of got owned. Um, so they're going to be uh, basically shoved back to mid. Uh, no off classes in any capacity. Dot wet in a 2v1 uh, fighting. Oh, well, no. Well then. Freddy's going to try and salvage. Freddy's on the shotgun, but it's not finding that's its a put home. That's in the reverse, Terry. This is That's this a is reverse bad. pick situation. Four down for blue. Seconds being capped up. Dennis has bombed forward. He's sticking off the point. Or he's yep. trying to... They have to the hold point on their own for a good while. That that's was just not, not going to do it. All right. I think it's time to see a good old Dennis mid. Let's see what Denisovich is doing for us. All right, take it away. I mean, this is this is looking real solid for Bingo Night so far. Yeah, Dennis just goes straight through lower. They all arrive at roughly the same time, and it looks like, yeah, Blue's taking positioning again. They have the positioning here. It's just, Tolkis is in on Challenger, and yep, he's gone. Uh, we'll see if they can actually capitalize on that though, but uh, Taco Cat's nine, Cube down, it's just, alright, Blue is starting to look like they have some signs of life once again. Yeah, there we go, and, finally. Uh, finally. Um, yeah, a mid-win under their belts. Uh, looks like they, they took position and then were a little bit more patient this time, converted a couple frags. Oh my god, that's well, the <laughs> Wow, He's still alive! He so fast. Yeah, I just saw him from the, his, his teammate's perspective as they pushed through Saw and I just saw a blue dot flash across the screen. Uh, Challenger... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Yep. Uh... Bingo's had to force. And Challenger gets away scot-free. DT and BBL are in with that Uber, but I don't think they're getting anything here. Uh, I think Puka's trying to prove me Ooh. wrong. But, uh, a little bit of a mini air shot from him, and now it's a yep. scrap fest. Oh, oh but the shotgun from this Freddy Freaker. Is, he kills the medic. This is bad news bears right here. Oh, well, this is the most Did awkward demo duel I have. Oh, and then he just and kills himself. Yep. Challenger? Oops, rollers. I don't know about this one. Uh, yeah, uh, Cube's just going to walk forward and chew you apart. And then he's going to kill Whale it. Mart. Oh, okay. Dot Wet but, kills him. He bought enough time, though. Exactly. And, Puka nice. comes in and cleans up Dot Wet. So that was a huge play from Cube. A little bit of a misstep from Challenger, kind of walking into last with only 69 health. That's just not enough when you're trying to face a scout. Um, and I mean, now now we're just going to watch the things resettle. Uh, second's going to be retaken by Red. They're going to have... Oh, well, they're actually staring at the disad. So they have to be careful if they're going to continue to push the issue right into mid. It doesn't look like that'll be the case, though. Dennis just going to set up some stickies in the lower. Uh, both scouts building. The double scout build. Classic. You build twice as fast when both your scouts are hurting themselves with the Boston Basher. Um, but that is how it works. So... Look at this, DT. Yeah, they're aggressive. They're aggressive. They're with. They're already deep through saw, but they have found no targets. They're trying to get on top of Craig. Craig's pretty low, but he has managed Craig. to slither away into lobby. 
And it's in fact it's blue. Either. It's blue with the player disadvantage until just now with DT killing cube. Um, so now, oh look at this. Red don't even want to give this up, but they got to be careful. There could be some back cap opportunities. Uh, and yeah, look at look at DT's going right through lower. Yeah, they're going. Challenger oh. and. Oh, okay. DT's gonna well, give the old bait and turn around to kill the demo man. And now he's gonna try and get on top of the medic. He does. He gets Craig, and he's still alive. He's fighting the scout with his teammate. Oh, what on earth? The blue scout salvaging the situation for for Amos Nate Wales, and now they're just gonna recap in the face of two soldiers or a soldier and a scout. Oh, they're not playing the point. Oh, I don't know if they're gonna get it. Oh, DT just barely uh, juking that rocket, and now he's still on the hunt. Uh, he's not gonna be able to get the health pack. Tulkus is gonna take him down. That was. That was a crazy sequence there. Um, yeah, and it looks like Red's actually going to not only maintain their point presence, but they might actually be able to push off this. Puka's just in. And, oops, Challenger completely misses the sticky trap. Yeah, and now there's a Red Soldier deep behind enemy lines as Puka is in the saw. He's going, oh my god, this is a free bomb right on top of the medic. And he and gets BBL. He gets Whale. Whale Mart too. Puka's going to jump up top. Yo, no fear. Oh my god, I thought he was going to crater. No fear, dude. Okay, Ken. This dot man wet. is not afraid. Uh, look at how Fractured Blue is playing. Well, they do get Tulkus, but uh, Challenger is still maintaining his position on the point, but... Craig stayed alive. He has Taco Cat to heal. They're going to be coming up on Uber very, very shortly. Um, well, we're going to see what we're going to see how Blue responds to this Uber because uh, they should know. BBL did, you know, BBL died to the Puka bomb, and then Craig stayed alive. Uh, so it's about this reaction to the Uber. 16 minutes left in this half. Plenty of time if you're on Blue. No need to get antsy. Just have to be careful. Continue to be careful. But it looks like a Oh, well, no, never mind, Cube. They're wrapping them. They're wrapping them. Crazy, they're going oh, to two. No. This is the classic blunt, but oh, unfortunately, well, but Red in. has caught They've them out. Responded. Yep, Red just walked right back, doubled back. Challenger's so hurt. Somehow still not dead. Challenger's still not dead and kills Craig on top of it. Okay. All right. That's, uh, that's not what we want to see. But, uh, Why are we talking about Magnus you know? Chin reveal? I'm so confused. Excuse me. <laughs> I don't know. I just see I just see Mogul so asking Magnus Chin reveal question mark. But all right, enough of that. Uh, blue team, they're gonna be pushed back to their own second. Uh, good news, they killed Craig, so they actually do have a 25% advantage. Uh, as it looks like Craig didn't have anybody to heal as he respawned. Um, Blue team uh, Amos, however, are playing it very, very passive. They're sitting their heels on bats, so I feel like if red team recognizes this situation, they could like go for a dry push through grass. Uh, but again, you know they are up 2-0, so they don't have to. They don't have to take any risks right now. They can just no rush. They're, they're, they're playing no rush it pretty game. easy. Yeah, weird champing. Weird champing at Twitch chat is the correct play right now because I don't really know what's going on there. But however, what I do know is going on is uh, the ghost of my sister's computer once again turning on her PC after she has gone to bed. This is real spooky hours now as we're approaching the one o'clock hour on the Eastern time zone uh, on the East Coast here. But uh, the 25 ad was not acted upon, so we are gonna be at a stalemate once again. Puka will probably be bombing in uh, within within a couple of seconds here. And there he is, speaking of the devil. Uh, didn't really get anything, but well, Challenger? definitely hurt Challenger. Yeah, he got Challenger down to 5 health, so... Uh, Whale is in, or trying to be. He's already hurt, Tulkus on uh, the shotgun. Ooh, wow. air shots! So, the, the counter sack goes down. Xanda asking about our RGB5 jerseys. Don't worry, I told you those are happening. Those are coming when the next RGB5 land happens six years from now. But Tolkis chatting his way into an exchange, killing the demo man as well. And he's just, look at, he's staring at the soldier. He's daring him to contest him. Uh, but in fact, it is Tolkis who wins that all day. He taken, he is taking cheese now, although I think he's out of rockets. Yep, he's stuck on shotgun now. Finally picks up some ammo. DT goes down. That soldier's going for the market gardener. Whale Mart unable Did to. Did not get it. Yeah, he tried to re to re uh, they revitalize. They three here for that, and uh, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, that's this is pushable. This is easily pushable. This is not looking good for Amos. They are stuck on their own last with three players. Although a nice. A pipe rocket combo from the blue projectiles. Uh, they pick up Taco Cat, but that's it. Oh, no, Puka. And and oh, yep, that's going to be half. 
Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's Bingo it. Night Esports, a three to zero. They are what looking they clean, clean and calculated yeah. right now. I mean, they're. I just feel like their um, their Uber, their Uber uses and their post Uber uh, positioning has just been better than Amos and Wells, and that's pretty much what's winning them these rounds. Absolutely. On top of that, their aggression whenever they lose their med makes sense, whereas. Uh, Amos has kind of just been pushing whenever, and usually at the worst possible times is what it feels like. Where then, them losing three people, like we just saw, lost them the round. Yeah, so... And they really didn't need to lose that. The, Heck, even won. I guess the, the, the post-Uber aggression on Amos's side not working out whatsoever. Uh, Nighthawk already beating me to the punch, uh, posting the logs in chat. Everyone, please say thank you, Nighthawk, because that's uh, that's just helping me out, and I don't have to alt tap, so I appreciate that. Um, what am I win a massive twenty-one and nine? What am I looking at here? Yeah, twenty-one and nine, huh? That's that's pretty good. That is pretty good from your Roamer, nonetheless. He did that off eleven percent heals, so uh, I don't know about you, but that's pretty good. That is pretty I'd good. Say so. Um, what else am I looking at here? Uh, four Ubers on BBL side compared to eight Ubers, well, seven Ubers and a Crits from Craig. Uh, I feel like that has certainly been a, a big swing in terms of the overall flow of the match. Just having four more Ubers, or at the very least three more Ubers, is uh, enough to win a round. And hey, they're up by three, so that might be it right then and there. Uh, anything else? Airshot King is actually a three-way tie between Denisovich, Talkus, and Whalemart, each with just one. So, you know, they're they're keeping things low profile on the ground for the most part in this match. Uh, though we did, I did catch Talkus's airshot at least, assuming that was the one that got counted. I, I believe it was just because of where uh, where Whalehood ended up dying there. Um. So. I mean, Challenger's doing 305 DPM, Denisovich is doing 304, so again, the, the numbers, like, individually are pretty close, uh, but once again, because of the better positioning after Ubers out of Bingo Night, they are just, they're just coming away with it, and a couple of, I, I guess you would call it mistakes out of Amos pushing a little bit too deep and then getting punished for it, losing two, sometimes even three players, just lets Bingo waltz right back in and, and pretty much convert the round off of that. So something Absolutely. has to change with how blue team posts up after Ubers to give them a chance to win the fights. Because uh, right now, I think I could count on one hand the number of times they've won a uh, scrappy DM fight after both Ubers have been exchanged. Yeah, if, if they can abuse their positioning a little bit more, I have the feeling that we'd see a different game here. But uh, again, it's like they're just throwing bodies at a problem and hoping it goes away. Wait, what? Let's see. Oh, uh, quick update from the main game. I'm listening. Uh, that was 0-0 zero, zero with 10 minutes left on the clock in the first half. It went 3-0. What? In that first half. Oh my goodness. For the Whales. Uh, Which team was winning again? Which Wales. team won the first map? Whales did? Oh, okay. Yep. They're looking to close it out, huh? Uh, but, 7 minutes into the second half, and Watch This already has two rounds. Ooh, okay. So they're making it a game as well. Um... I say as well, but this map's kind of lopsided right now. But the series has been very, very good. Let's not take anything away from either of these teams. It's just that right now, right now Bingo is uh, a couple steps better than Amos is. But, you know, that's why we have halftime, I suppose. If you're a fan of the NA system, you have halftime to, to realign yourselves, to reset, refresh, refocus. Um, so I think if, um, if Amos can get a good mid out, you know, keep, keep BBL alive kill Craig, they could, they could, you know, convert a last push and then find a, find a game, because again, 3-1 is at least somewhat more of a game than 4-0 would be. Absolutely, and we're looking on to see that, you know, another 30 minutes of TF2, like this, this is doable. Yeah, a absolutely. A 3-0 isn't something that you can't come back from. Yeah, and, and again, that half was... 
I mean, 17 minutes, so I guess that's pretty lopsided, but it shows that you can get three rounds in, you know, less than 30 minutes at the pace of this current match, so, uh, we'll, we'll see, the... we'll see. If they can make the, if Amos, Nate Wales can make the adjustments, they can absolutely fight their way back in, much like how they did on Viada, but we're gonna have to, we're gonna find out very, very soon. We are live. You know how Blanc TV works. You're the man of the half. You get the cam of the next half, and it's Puka time. Whether it's a camera blessing or a curse, he's going to start off by not getting his cr heal. Looking like me that's on a, medic. That's a big oof right there, Terry. But we'll see if that hinders him on this middle. He's just going to roll out catwalk. He's going to be 200 HP, so I'm going to guess he's going to play it nice and slow and uh, wait for his opportunity well, to bomb. Dot and Whale are already hurt. Interesting double bomb over to the seagull spot of his own team's side. He wants an arrow, but he's not really getting it. Uh, and now look at this. The positioning once again for Blue is a lot better. But here comes the Puka Bomb right on top of the demo. He connects two rockets, but he gets cleaned up by DT. And, uh, oh, oh, but, but the Talkus Bomb. He... Puka was just bait. He was the he was the appetizer, and Talkus was the main course. Dropping two rockets in, killing the Blue Medic. And, well... At the end of the fight, Dotwet is trying to chase deep. He's actually going to pick up Denisovich, so that's really, really good on the blue aggression there post mid. But they are not going to be able to catch Craig at all. He has Puka uh, they may respawn. Not be able to cap. Uh, they have times three on it right now, so we'll see. We'll see. Um, we are not going to answer that question, Maccabus, because that's just. It's just not worth talking about right now, especially when his name was just Tolkus in the first map. But. A full uber advantage for the side of red once again blue team tried to do a little rap play last time and they got completely smashed by the uber so a good reaction from red this time it looks like bingo are trying to go through lower here we go challenger has already started walking wow. towards the saw side has he gone to two i can't tell nope they're out they are gone and they sack two for the force so not not bad but hey when you trade out one for the force it's not too bad. Yeah, and now they have Uber. So, uh, the thing is, they denied... The, the cap time denied both the respawning blue players. So, yeah, if red takes an aggressive fight right now, they could force and then find themselves in an advantage situation. Here comes the soldiers bombing in. They actually get nothing. They got BBL, BBL down to 39 wow. health. So, he, that was pretty scary, dude. He was in the corner as well. So, luckily for him, he did not have to use. Now, they're just going to be slowed down by a little bit of the Dennis spam. But, otherwise, it looks like uh, Amos are going to be able to retake mid no problem. Uh, they got to finish up the cap, though. Don't forget about the cap, guys. Don't forget about the cap, guys. Don't pull the Blanc Esports. Someone please cap middle. No. There's... It's not necessary. If you okay, know, all right. They... <laughs> they're, okay, they're back. They're I, I was I was getting a little <laughs> bit worried, dude. I'm not going to lie. Um, there is Puka hiding in forwards, so we're going to see. I'm going to keep Waiting it on the BBL the cam. Oh, no. <gasps> he oh, drops. No, he I had a bad feeling that was going to happen when he was just staring forward, and that is a huge play from Puka. BBL down, Uber charge drop. Now the blue attempt at a salvage, not gonna happen. What is this blue soldier gonna try and do? He is hiding above catwalk. The soldier has already spotted him and he's dead. And it's now just it's just dot wet. He's, he's, he's realized this is this isn't the good spot. Oh Challenger boy. putting stickies in the lower on the grass. We'll see if someone runs over those right now. Well, both scouts are walking. <laughs> oh, there he goes! Well, he got then, both scouts! Both scouts. <laughs> so, nice little play from Challenger. Um, will that be enough to stave off the 30%, 40% disadvantage that they're facing? The soldiers on red are doing a great job denying height, wow. although Tolkus does die. And now Whalemark got a free bomb in through the right lane. He's going to continue to wreak havoc. Well, actually, he's just going to bait, push the other team out, and then let DT kill off Denisovich. And now Whalemart, oh, put a ton of damage into that scout. Although a soldier jumps him in window and he will Man. go down. It's a scrappy wow. scrap fest uh, right now. Uh, yeah. Bingo's just on their heels, having to run from every encounter. They just keep losing players. Tulkus bomb Berlin. <laughs> All right, guys. What is going on? I don't know. They're talking about how old Tulkus is, so, you know. Uh, resident 
Boomer. Boomer of Boomers, I guess, along with Space Cadet, although Space Cadet hasn't played in the last couple of seasons. Regardless, we're going to watch the stalemate right now on middle, finding out if one of the blue soldiers can open things up here. So, like we said, you know, a 3-0 deficit is certainly not impossible to come back from, especially when you're in control of middle right now. So, Whale Mart, I would like to see him get 300 before he does a bomb. Um, but right now, there's just... There's really nothing going on right now. Puka and his scout partner, it looks like, are very, very aggressive in the lower. Yeah, it was just him and Taco Cat, but please don't let Wilmar bomb in with 200. Okay, yeah, he's getting an arrow. He's getting something. Tolkas took down the Berlin Wall. God damn, these memes. All right, here we go. So he goes to go through the window. He's going to land right on top of the medic. Unfortunately, he has no rockets loaded, and he'll get cleaned up. And that'll be the end of that. Where will the Puka retaliation bomb come from? Look at this man. He's already 300. He's bombing he's up to window. window. He's just going to go out catwalk, yeah, catwalk. And he's in. He's going to go behind. No, he's going to give him a little fake. Right on top of BBL. Got 50 damage off. Unfortunately, that is not enough to get a force. And uh, we will settle right back in. <gasps> Wait. Challenger got caught by uh -oh. Stickies. And then so does Freddy. This Uber comes That's, out now too. Oh, no. oh this is... This is not looking good for Amos, especially when they lose Dot Wet on the flank as well. DT's going to try and stuff Dennis at the, at the saw side. He's actually doing a pretty good job, but uh, again, aware. Or outside of that, Tolkis picks up BBL. Is he going to go for a back cap? I was thinking that was his only play, but it looks like... Oh my god. It doesn't look like yeah. it Oh, it's, it is it is not looking good right now. Bingo Night Esports are just playing super, super solidly, super together, and just punishing Blue for their mistakes, um, feeding players before an Uber trade happened. That is not what you want to see if you're a fan of Amos Nate Whale's 59, but now the aggression. Puka, he's right on top of this demo. Challenger, 74 health, stuck on bats. It looks like he bought himself enough space with his stickies. Oh, the, the market so gardener. Yep, he tried. He tried. Respect it, the effort. Unfortunately, nothing will happen. And now, 6v5 situation. Uber is coming right up for Craig. Where will this Uber go? It looks like through right side. Go back to the cube cam. They Wait, where'd they go? Oh, they're, they're a shutter. I don't know what I'm talking about. Here we go. And Ooh. immediately, well, the Uber gets stuffed very quickly, but... uh. The Uber wasn't great, comes. but look at the heavy play. Dotwet picking up two, but da oh, BBL, he gets killed oh, in spawn. Kinda... It's a 2v3, Ooh. but the health is better on blue, so who's going to win this fight? Taco Cat. Oh, Freddy kills off Taco Cat. Whalemar picks him up. It's a 1v1. Oh. Oh, and uh, that's death. I think, but I think he's going to cap it, right? Like that, he's... Uh, maybe? Or, I, wait. I can't tell because the... Oh. Oh, oh, I guess wow. it doesn't matter. I was about to ask if the cap timer goes while the pause is going, and the answer was yes, because uh, you saw it revert as we got unpaused. So yeah. a little quick pause there, not sure what was going on, but I mean, right now, Bingo Night Esports are taking it to Amos Nate Wales. They are putting the foot on the gas pedal, and right now, Amos, they just have no answers. Um, they they got to have a good mid here, otherwise this we could be looking at the beginning of the end here, Crazy. DT. They've been having great positioning but they yeah. just need to convert all right so dt doing on soldier duty he cannot well, protect BBL's bbl gone. he's gonna try and salvage he will pick up a soldier and now he's going on right on top of the medic he got a rocket right, assistance so oh Everyone and he just couldn't quite just get it single digit. oh and freddy tried to flank around from the other side but with the health pack freddy is not going to be able to get the medic pick and he's just going to go down it is uh, it is not looking good here if you are on blue. Right now, red has all the answers. They are asking all the right questions, and they're just coming out on top. It's been a very dominant 4-0 so far for Bingo Knight, and they are looking to put the finishing touches on this best of three here to close things out. Uh, DT already on Engineer. There is a player disconnect by user. Okay, That's, he's back. Yeah, that was probably what that pause was. Um... All right, I don't know. <laughs> Grank is best soldier, and Atulka single-handedly stopped the production of hentai caused by the assassination of Archbishop Franz Ferdinand. Um, wasn't he the Archduke? World War One. Uh, uh, World War One memes. But, uh... All right. Anyway, this is the last gap. Oh well, Ooh. there we go. A pretty solid last breath here. Puka and Dennis going down to the sniper and trap. Uh, and now Freddy has a potential bomb opportunity. They should be able to retake two. I feel like Freddy can call. Yeah, exactly. The rest of the blue has uh, 
sauntered out onto second here. All of red is gone. BBL still only at 70% though, so they do have to be careful of an instant re-aggression. Uh, we have seen blue get caught out on their own second multiple times before, so they gotta be careful. Um, but the thing is, dude, like, 20 minutes left, right? But you're up 4-0. You can, you can take this nice and easy. Oh yeah, this is, this is the bus pass territory where you wait for Amos to make a mistake before you do anything. Yeah, uh, so, I mean, Red did have uber advantage, but they did lose two players while they were trying to push last, so they're just gonna take the easy reset back onto mid, let the soldiers work. I mean, Puka and Tolkis, man, those guys have been putting in uh, great performances all night, uh, despite, you know, two King of the Hill maps, you know? Like, that's just, that's soldier jail. It's the scout playground, but Puka and Tolkis have both been uh, hitting great rockets. Uh, in, in Whale Mart as well, and Freddy, they've been hitting rockets as well, getting Market Gardener kills if you're Whale Mart. But uh, where's where's Puka? I was just on his game earlier. I would just imagine a solo sack here. Take things nice and easy. Yeah, absolutely. And it looks like while well, they're probing questions in lower, Puka's in but dying. Yeah, there's he's not getting anything out of that one. So will Whale Mark counter, or will uh, Blue well, Team feel yeah. the pressure and push? Uh, oh, DT, DT dies. dies. Mm, okay. I was going to say, at some point, if you're red, or if you're blue, you got to start pushing off of one-man advantages, because time is not on your side now. And, uh, like, again, there's no reason for Bingo to do anything other than solo Bampuka over and over and over again until he gets the force or a drop. Um... You can waste as much time as you need here, and you're in complete control. So, uh, I'm gonna go find the Puka Cam once again, and I anticipate that he will be bombing in shortly. Yep, here he goes, flying in. Air shot? No, he gets nah, chipped away quite. by Dot Wet. <laughs> he got Challenger low again. Challenger oh, and he oh. does die to the aggression from Cube. Uh, and they get Whale Mark. Yeah, as, oh, so wait. Hurt. Oh, he get the force. He got the force. Whale Mark got the force. So, no demo, but you do have full Uber. Oh! Mm, I'm sorry. As a medic main, that just hurt to see. BBL oh. drops on the bridge, and... Um, this Only Freddy and DT over. left alive. That could be yeah. it, ladies and gentlemen. We might know. be they staring at the end. Were, or they're going to play the well, We're going to stall out here, yeah. Alright, so... If they were in a hole before, they are they are deep in the Grand Canyon now because now you're staring at 30 disad. Now you're on last instead of your own two. You have Dot Wet on Sniper. You have DT putting up the 7th player, the old sentry that could. But uh, they need... They need to dig deep here, but again, it's just, there's so much advantage on Bingo Knight. They can just wait. They can, they don't even have to push off this ad if they don't want to. I think they will, uh, but... I, oh yeah, 60 ad? Definitely. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go find the Dennis. I'm gonna go find the Dennis cam. The soldier has spotted them early, so nice job by, uh, by Whale Mart to call their location and this this the stickies are actually doing a great job denying this uber for the beginning and the gun is still alive until just now now it's the frags now it's all about the frags oh and dot wet's gonna be the first death tulkus trades out but bbl dying oh, but should three. spell the end oh, heals no. still alive on puka and, and friends and just like that snake water is over that is bingo night esports llc with a 5-0 victory on Snakewater. They're going to win this best of three, 2-1. Two to one. They won clear cut, 4-1. They lost Viaduct, 4-2. And then they put on a dominating display here on Snakewater, 5-0. to zero.